怎么能哭呢？一切会好的，一切都去吧，你就得想着。既然没办法，还恨他干嘛？还管他干嘛？心里要记得，你是那那个那那那个那个那那那那个那那那个那个那那，阳光彩虹小白马，滴滴答滴。Yo, wow, wow, what wow. the fuck was that, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I literally just saw that and I was like,、um, I have so many questions. Wow, that was crazy.、Bro. I have so many questions. That's some like, song that's getting some attention yeah, right I mean, now. Yo, from、uh, I wonder, I, I wonder why. I wonder why. <laughs> what could it be? It started off like Carson Bukaki. <laughs> <laughs> It's all jumbled here. I might have to move. To oh man, I I didn't know that. That's what I was going to walk into as soon as I clicked <laughs> on. I was just like, "What is going on?" Nay, 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 nay. I, I think I, uh, I, I think Matthew right thought he was in the wrong show. Well, a little, a little bit, a little bit. I felt like I was underdressed、um, for one, <laughs> and I、um, also felt <laughs> slightly uncomfortable due to some very explicit lyrics. Assume that word.、Uh, it actually means nothing. I know. I know, I know, yeah. But it was just funny where you're just like, "Oh man, man, someone should have done a, a spell check." You know, <laughs> they、so、should have gone on, you guys.、Yeah. Kevin, how yeah, are you doing?、Crazy. What's up? I'm all right. I'm all right, man. Happy Father's Day, fellas. Yeah, thank you.、Uh, appreciate it.、Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, straight up to all the fathers out there.、Happy、Am I too、father's、loud、day. on the mic or too soft? Because I wondered about thank that. Thank you. Thank you. The, Yeah,、um, Kev. Thank you. I think you're all right. Okay. Thank、good. you, sir. Thank you, sir. I like how Mundo is on the ceiling. <laughs> I think Mundo is having some connection issue. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to switch to the phone because I'm having some、uh, issues with.、Sim. That was crazy. That was right on. Every time. Poor Mundo. This is always a concern on his end, and I'm not sure why. No, he usually fixes it.、It's, yeah, he's really、uh, good. It's like he comes in, there's an issue, and then he comes back, and it's perfect. So let's see what happens. I know. I just don't understand why he's always plagued with <laughs>、yeah. such. What Every time I get back、nonsense. on my phone, it's perfect, right?、Oh, I mean,、man. I got I got the same plague going on. You know what I mean? So it just hasn't happened yet. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Just hasn't. But, it hey, just hasn't but, happened yet. But hey, it's all good because you and Anthony, you guys go hard in the paint. Go hard in the mother effing paint. That's right. Man, I didn't realize how messy my area was. That's why I'm shuffling around like an idiot right now. Well, if you hadn't revealed it to us, we wouldn't have known. But now that you've said that, now I'm just oh be man, looking behind、oh, you and、man. be like, dude. No, I mean, I mean, like mess directly in front of me though on the desk is crazy. No, I know, but、right. that's actually the point. It's funny. That's a、oh, film、good. technique too. Is if you don't see it on frame, you don't it see it. Not real. Doesn't exist. Not, doesn't exist. Literally, sometimes right the boom mic. Is let's see here.、Whoa. Yeah, it's like, it's yeah, like there's、right、where、here. my fingers are, right? And then they'd be like, "Here's where the boom is. Here's where the boom is." And they're like, "Uh, uh, oh, you know." And you guys ever、oh. seen that too, where they'll show, "Hey, there's Mundo." You, there you see those shots where they have the boom just kind of makes it in. Yeah,、like、yeah, kind of. Yeah, like, for a、Whoops. second. <laughs> yeah, they have videos dedicated to all those slips with a with yeah, a boom yeah, kind of like dives in. And, and, as, and as the song said, "What's up?" Gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it on here. I feel like we'll be we'll be uh it'll it'll be uh flagged right if I say no no what they were saying in the video. We don't we're like、oh, no. we're like 
walking a tightrope with even the conversation. Yeah, we're, right we're on the ver- verge Ooh. of getting uh, out <laughs> from the whole YouTube thing right. anyway. No, we get flagged. We get flagged immediately. For every other day. video gets taken down, so that's why I just push the limits. Man. Right. So, Lupu, no, are you no, having there's no right drinking, now or what? There's no swearing. There's no yes, yes. rap. No, I, I know. What's up? What's up, Mudo? Even though I say, you know, in the beginning that this video is not for kids, uh, in the disc, in the it's like uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't it's matter to them. To it. It's no. the damn bots. The bots. Mundo's actually probably right too. Right? Think about it. Like how many automated systems that they have out there that are flagging things that like no human being ever comes into contact with it. It's some kind of weird. Yeah. Well, only code. when you go and appeal it, then like a human will take a look. Right. So it, yeah, it's usually like a bot will swing by, hear something or match up a song or match up something and then and then it's over just like this <laughs> we usually get caught for that one yeah. I, think, I think that came what in mute did that come in mute or did i just not hear it now wait did you guys just design all that and put that together or what is that from <laughs> yeah uh that's actually mundo's bar kevin you couldn't hear that I could, that came in? Yeah, well, what was up with That's crazy. Can you hear this well, one? Tell me if you guys can hear no, this. I can hear it. I want to back up. Moon, is that really your bar? I'm not yeah. hearing it. That's legit, dude. Like, I like that. Like, I would, I would go to, I would go to Mundo's. <laughs> yeah, like Mundo's got the best bar in the shittiest town. Is that, is that okay, Mundo? <laughs> <laughs> well, Matt, here, here's the cool thing, man, because uh, I was telling Ant, and uh, I actually had a bar in my family. My uh, well, my father and my grandfather owned the, uh, a place called the Patio, which is called the Patio in Spanish. Oh, I you know, know this one because it's also it's the uh, it's uh, uh, a bottle of uh, uh, spicy sauce. Well, the patio is is like I said, it's a, it was a family bar and it's based in Kingsville, Texas. Oh, cool! And um, I I've heard a lot of stories. I've just never been able to go to the bar, you know. And I and I oh. had planned a trip on going to see who owns it now because we we lost it, you know. And I'm not going to go into the story about it, but oh shit, Sorry we we you know. We lost the bar to certain things, and and that's you know that's on my family. But the thing was is that we actually had a bar in my family. I was, and that's why I like was telling Aunt. <laughs> that's how told us like that. a month or two after we decided that he had a bar in the story. Yeah, and then he told us about that. That was pretty funny. That's actually no, that's actually a cool thing. You guys will get a kick out of this too, real quick too. But like. One of my dragons is supposed to be the brewmeister. Like he's the dude. Like oh, to go no. to. Oh, cool! No, I'm cool, not kidding. Cool. So that's Gargigle. That's His badass. name is Gargigle. Yeah. <laughs> that's badass. Yeah, everybody calls him Jig. He's he's Gargigle and stuff like that. And he he's like this. He's always like, all right, all right, all right. All right. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Like that's that's I have to do his voice I think because I don't know if I could get anybody else to do it. But Mundo, that's cool. Dude. You know what I'm gonna do, Mundo? I'm gonna move out there. And I'm gonna I'm gonna come work at your bar. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> no, I'm almost I'm almost I'm I'm almost serious, you know. No, he has he doesn't have a real bar anymore in real life, but he has one in our comic story. Yeah, I know. That's why I was joking around mostly. Oh. That's why I said I'm half joking, <laughs> half serious. Yeah. So I thought if you're gonna move out to where his bar is in the store, you might like freeze to death. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. Well, not if oh, I have the right microchips installed, right? That's true. Maybe maybe you could make it with some special chips, some special jacket. Yeah, hey, the, Kev, the can you uh, blast me over the Casso image of that planet? Um, maybe, oh, I don't yeah. know. I'm, I was looking through the text log. I don't see that, but I need to pull that up from, for what I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw Casso in, in the viewport of the ship, you know? Cool. Um, that's like kind of what I'm, what, and I'll explain more, but. Cool. Time to kick some ass. <laughs> it's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of gum. Master the road here. Time to get How busy. Can you live with yourself? <laughs> <laughs> 
Kevin, Sound are you noise. are you hearing these? Ah. Or are they blank here? I don't. Yeah, no, 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 silent for me. Hmm. Rip ears, right? It's wild. It's yeah, it's wild. Maybe you try going out and coming back in because something must be weird there. Wait, it could who? just be maybe maybe it's like stereo and I'm just you know I'm on like a, a mono. I don't uh, know what the hell's going on. Oh, you're only uh, hearing one ear. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. I'm hearing both. I'm I'm good on. No, the I only have one ear though. I don't have I don't have the other. You know what I mean? Have uh, did you hear uh, the song from the beginning of the video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, because I'm gonna actually need to play part of this if we get to it is I actually want to, I'm, I'm glad you heard that. Cause I, I do want you to hear certain samples of a few songs, maybe later on in the video, you know, the ones that are like YouTube approved that we could use in the trailer. Yeah. I'll, I'll send to Matthew so that he will be able to like pick out from ones like from music that is uh royalty free. Okay. So we won't get in any trouble oh. there. Oh, okay. At least for YouTube. Like, it should be short enough where the, like the way you cut things and stuff like that, like if yeah. it'll be perfect for YouTube, but depending on the way you cut the song or whatever, it may or may not yeah. be okay for Instagram. I don't know, but we'll have it. The trailer is only going to be like 30 seconds. So I'm thinking, you know, the way you cut the music, maybe it'll chop the song I might, up. I might, if you guys are not necessarily in a hurry, depending on how quickly, what we could always do is, um, well, first of all, you guys remember Eamon, right? Eamon came onto the podcast for a brief time and just by audio, I think, or maybe he mm -hmm. came visually, but he's my composer. Yeah. So like if we can get in contact with him, which it's hard to, it's, I'll be honest, it's hard to get a, hard, a hold of the boy, but I mean, if we do, we could, you never know. He might have a piece where he's like, oh yeah, you need some trailer music. I got something already. Just go ahead and use it. And then it wouldn't get like flagged you know what i mean yeah because i always I mean, recommend that I was say, if you ever if you're ever doing like a piece where you're like hey we want this to be a real thing it's like you might as well use all as much of your own content as you possibly could especially because you guys are already in a great position like dude i'm in the opposite position that you guys are like i have this composer and he's giving me good pieces of music but then graphics wise i don't have very many of my drawings of the dragons at this point there are a lot of them are temporary you know, and then you guys have all your own art content, but apparently maybe no music. So you might even reach out to the community, try to get a composer. It's like our story's not done and we don't have music. Your story's totally done. You have music, <laughs> but you don't have the artwork. <laughs> we have some of the artwork, just like the story's not finished. And if we, okay. if we your story doesn't have to be finished. Be just because mine's finished doesn't mean anything. It's just that my goal was keep pushing forward on a lot of different aspects of things wall like I, I was still looking for vo talent and people to come aboard the project when i wasn't quite done but it just turned out that you know by the time i got to the position that i was i was like yeah i guess it's done but that's okay that's that's meaningless in the in the grand scheme of things especially when it's a comic book thing where you guys are not like you know you're like this might be a series where you're like it keeps going on and on and on and then the next thing and the next thing and the next thing you're like you know does it need an ending like the end dun, 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 dun. like maybe there's not really technically an end you know you're like we'll we'll stop here but when we return it's picking up right where it left off so you know define end <laughs> you know what i mean yeah <laughs> yeah but it is true that i'm sure you guys have plenty of within the whole project like there's story arcs where something you know something begins and ends and like a quest is achieved and completed and you know i would yeah, assume it just has to take place over like many issues well there you go just like life everyone has many issues <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is the truth this is the truth and yo thanks a lot for um working on this for us man appreciate it yeah no problem yeah, it's, it's my pleasure. I mean, I don't know if I can do all that much. Like, I mean, I'm not. <laughs> it's funny. I was just sharing with uh, this uh, person that I was talking to uh, because she was trying to understand the complexity of making the videos. And I said here and I, I shared a screenshot. You guys probably know what I'm talking about, too. When when you do a video edit and you have that line of all the things, you know, you've got like. 200 video clips and sound clips and they're all manipulated. Do you understand what I'm all trying to say? Yeah. I'm sure you guys do. It's yeah. it's crazy. I was looking at what I just released, you know, the SRT 
seven, which is probably the most complicated one that I did yet, because what happens in this point that I've been releasing the videos, SRT seven is where actual action happens. You know, <laughs> um, before everything was getting set up with the characters and what they're doing, but SRT seven basically shows where Titan ceremony goes completely haywire and all hell breaks loose and they're being assailed. They're being assailed uh, by invisible enemies in the trees. And everybody's like, what the f is going on? Are you serious? Like there's arrows and everything's flying around. They're like, what the hell is this? Where are they? Where are they? And then they're blaming Violetta. They're like, it was your fault. You, you're a betrayer, you know, and everything like <laughs> this kind of stuff. And she's like, I didn't do it. What are you talking about? And, ah, and all this chaos is going on. So the video edit is like, there's so many things going on and you can almost, um, it's kind of interesting to like, look at a video edit when you're like, oh, this is a calm scene. So it doesn't look like much, but then when it becomes like active, you're like, Ooh, you see all the little, you know, um, all the different video clips stacking and the effects you're having to drag in there. But, um, <laughs> I'll do my best with your guys' stuff, which is, I don't know how I'm going to manipulate all the graphics and things you're going to send me, but it'll be very cool to see like what you're going to do. Like, how did you organize your graphics? How are you organizing any sounds? Yeah. If you're, if you're asking me, like, if you're like, Hey Matthew, can you, I need a sound for a laser beam hitting a, Thing, and then we need a explosion. You know, we gotta have many explosions, <laughs> probably. Uh oh, gonna explode. You know, um, and that kind of stuff. I can do all that. You know, like a fire sound. Oh, really? Fire. You could do like so. an explosion <laughs> visual, or a, are you talking sound? The sound. You have sound effects. Oh, sound. Both, Both? Really, because it's, oh, okay. yeah. Now that that said, it, it is a little bit of a uh, what do you call it? A blurred line is yeah. I usually find like little exploding effects that are online and it's true that someone might say well you don't own that graphic and well that's true um and that is a it's an issue depending on what it is that you're trying to get out there so the point would be is yeah you'll you'll want to you know maybe be clear in your own head and then tell me and say look only use uh things that are ours or you might say yeah it's fine like can you just get a because again if you use something for two seconds like if something literally goes pow you know I don't know what kind of copyright <laughs> nobody's so, going to say. Hey, I have a lot of ideas. For that. Of yeah. That. I have, yeah. I have a ton of ideas for that stuff. And Ed, I, didn't, I didn't get to okay. talk to you about this, but I kind of, um, I made oh, yeah, some please really please. quick thumbnails. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. About, like what I thought was important. Okay. Okay. So like, this is going to look real childish. You know, I don't know if you can follow along. Right. No, but like, trust me, Kevin, this is not childish. This looks great. You, you sound like Doc Brown now. He's like, Excuse me, Marty, for the crew of the model. And he's like, <laughs> so, so I was thinking it has to start off like the sun just, just beaming, like, you know, just suddenly, you know, whoa. Right. And it just, and it just right. flat, like, just glitches yeah. out. Goes Wait, completely so dark, right? You slow down and work with me. So check it out. So, yeah, like, I can take your image and I can make it not only look uh, wavy, like bubbly, but I can have it yeah. tremble. Yeah. So yeah, that, that can is, happen that's for that's sure. That's, that's easy. Right? Totally easy, that's what I'm yeah. thinking of, and then like have it just go, just fade out completely dark, and then have right. that 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 dark screen Ooh. just freeze over, just like the screen itself freeze over. You know what I mean? Okay. See now that the freeze over the screen. Well, I have I, I bought I bought um stock footage for that, so I can send that. Oh, to cool. You. Then that's yeah. then that's that's what I mean. That's also yeah, that's helpful, easy. obviously. Yeah. And then I was thinking we can start getting into um you know like the ship flying through, and then like oh before that maybe getting into like like satellites like lighting up parts of the earth it's really quick like quick like two second shots clink 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 like just spotlights on the earth itself you know what i mean yeah yeah and then, then the ship going out on its voyage and then like going into castle and 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 like the, the planets that we're going to see and then going into what we we and Ant were talking about last week yeah does that make does that make sense no it does and that's what i mean is as that gets more explained to me and then i'll have to then no I'm, i don't even know i don't even know if ant agrees with what i'm saying yet which is the first time he's <laughs> hearing it too <laughs> like um we could take what kevin just said and let's add this bit on like after so kevin kind of did how many seconds would you say kevin that you is that 10 seconds or is I that nine seconds i think that's at most 10 seconds at, at tops Okay, so maybe what we got here is like a 35 second or a 40 second thing like you could you could tell me now try to uh, we're going to go over like what I have written here and then there's some there's some artwork that I'm going to show you too but it'll come after this or I'll insert it in in here or whatever and that's that's what mm -hmm. we'll be sending you uh, so no, it'll I understand. be like, like believe me this is part of the I'm not trying to interrupt but I'm just saying to interject is that yeah this is perfect this is the kinds of things that will help my brain get in tune with what you guys are trying to uh, 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 exp yeah. express or explain 
And then that will make all the difference in the world where later I'll be like, okay, guys, I made a super rough, again, hashtag previs slash rough janky question mark, question mark version. Here's what it kind of looks like. And then you'll probably be like, oh, yeah, that's cool. But can you have it where the ship, the ship looks too big. It needs to be smaller at this point. Oh, okay, fine. So I think (laughs) there might be a little bit of that. Or I might do something where you'll be like. No, no, like that, that doesn't look right. We don't want it where it's going from left to right. What we're looking for more is like it's in the center and the camera moves around it. I'll be like, oh, or something like that. And then there's super limitations that I have where I might be like, I can't do that. Like, what do you want on that frame? I cannot make that happen. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's yeah, possible. Gotcha. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But that's yeah, oh, real I'm quick. Not- Wait, is circadian supposed to be like circadian rhythm? Yeah, it's supposed to reference to that. But it, are you are you purposely spelling it incorrectly? Wrong. Or? Yeah. Okay. Good. I was just checking because I, I I know that it's D I A N, but that's instead cool. of an E, it's an I, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's cool. But keep going. Kevin, you have something to say? No, I was just going to say that um I don't mind like putting together a storyboard, a complete storyboard to send to you, just so you know, like you know what, like frame by frame, what we're looking at. Yeah, because like, Kevin, like that might be a great component because what I no, have yeah, here, yeah, like this text that, that I have here. Um, This is to describe the scenes. And then right after this, um, it will be in this text document will be the dialogue. Like if there is, there's going to be this like a voiceover, I imagine. Um, Mm -hmm. So I have this two different pages. One page is just describing what's going on in the, in the two seconds, four seconds, three seconds, five seconds. And then Mm -hmm. after this, we'll talk about like what Matthew, you might say in a voice. Or, right, exactly. There's actually a friend that me and Ke- blah, 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 that blah. Kevin and I have. We would love to get this guy. Hello. But I, I haven't I haven't talked to him in a while. Our our friend Joe Knight, he has a oh. great uh, voice that I don't know if it'd be good for this trailer, but um he's got a great voice that's really no, he's rough. Great, period. Um oh, good. Uh, he's got he's like, like a, a he's got like a gruffy old school like New York voice. Like, hey, how you doing? Like, oh yeah, I'll knock him out. It, it'll be good for out. something at some point. And we, yeah. we've been talking hey, to Joe's doing, new voice for about yeah. 10 years. So. That's his that's his natural speaking voice, but he can manipulate it any way we want. But he can get really yeah, deep that's registers. Cool. He's gruff, like he got that. Yeah. Uh, He's got that yeah, gruff yeah. voice. It's crazy. Got, and if you guys voice. also, here's another hint and understanding is that uh, for what little or how much you've described your characters on, on the page, you can always tell me that too. You could be like, hey, so this character's voice, I we're imagining he's like, and then you might say Al Pacino in this movie or Gary Oldman <laughs> in this movie or something where I yeah. can reference it. And I'll be like, oh, for example, like I think I was telling you guys all this last time, not that everybody's going to remember until they get more familiar with my characters, but my one of my ice dragons, um, Llewellyn, is very loosely, but still, you know, directly, whatever, um, based on uh, Quint from Jaws. So he kind of, oh, you know, cool. he kind of talks like oh, this. You know, nice, like nice, sometimes nice. the shark could go away. Sometimes he cool. wouldn't go away. Sometimes <laughs> the shark, he looks at you. And the thing about a shark's eyes is he's got black eyes, like a doll's like doll eyes. eyes. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, so that's the style. So if someone were to say, oh, um, will you? can you talk like Robert Shaw in Jaws? I'll be like, oh, copy that. Like, I'll try that. <laughs> or if someone says, can you be more like Alan Rickman from Die Hard or something like that? Now, it doesn't mean I'll be able to get all of it 100%, but even if someone said, can you talk more like Gandalf from Lord of the Rings? Bilbo Baggins, I am not here to rob you. I'm here to fuck you. No. You shall not. <laughs> ah. I'm here to fuck you. <laughs> no, oh God, rip ears. Yo, was that was that about to fly under the radar? Really? <laughs> <laughs> rip ears. That's funny, man. But um. Going back to F, whenever someone says Alan Rickman, I immediately hear Heller. Oh, yeah, that's right. No, immediately. I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. ho what is it ho, that you say? Ho. Yeah, or what does he say? Um, when he, I'm trying to think of some of his ep- epic lines. Oh, yeah. Shoot the glass. Oh. <laughs> it, it's how you say yippee ki yay Mm-hmm. Uh, that right yeah that's right i forgot about that yeah <laughs> the best the best all right okay but so anyway yeah so this is fine like um 
you can do, you know, many things. It's, it's totally fine. Like, I think this is plenty, especially to get started. I think if we run into a problem, like if you, if I start working on something and I run into a problem where I'm like, I'm not, I'm not understanding what you guys want here. I'm pretty confused and I can get clarity. But also, like I said, what will happen is I'll have to make some kind of rough draft. Then when I send it, you guys might look at a whole bunch and be like, oh yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Wait, what? Oh yeah, Matthew, um, about 23 seconds in, that frame is all like, that's totally wrong. And I'll be like, oh, okay, cool. Let me know. It doesn't really matter. The point is for us to eventually get where I understand what you want and then I execute it and you guys are like, that's it. That's, that's fine. Or that's acceptable. Like you might find something where you're like, well, that's not my favorite thing in the world, but it, it got, you know, there's a ship flying across from here. Good. It worked, you know, like, you know what I mean? Does that yeah, make sense? We're going we're gonna to kick that off right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, going to read exactly, this exactly. like word for yeah, word yeah. and then we can discuss it. Like, you know, I'll just, I'll just read a sentence or two and then we'll, and we'll discuss. Um, mm -hmm. So Albatross <clears throat> teaser trailer number two, we do have a teaser trailer number one, which um, is just really simple, like uh, showing that it's cold in the world mm -hmm. with somebody walking through the snow. But this mm -hmm. one's just going to expand on it a little bit. It's going to be a pre-story, the circadian super starship and humans at war with the planet Casso and the Cassians. So that part of it where they're at war with the planet Casso and the Cassians is, is pretty quick in the trailer, but here's how it kicks off. Uh, the shots um, that I see happening here. Now, what Kevin just described is sort of like the previous 10 seconds to what I'm about to say, but I start off with number one here as a- Oh, right, wait, wait, just so I'm getting my mind in this. So right, it's like hot sun, blank, explosion, ice, and then, the the, the yeah, I don't, fighting i don't necessarily see an explosion i just see like the sun just fizzle out whoosh, like glitch out it's kind of glitch out then you just oh. see a black a black mass a black hole kind of like in space and then it just freezes over okay cool and then we pick up with what he's about to say right anthony so then mm -hmm. that leads into that leads into a, a it, space so, scene yeah. of stars um so, <laughs> so, so we're talking about like star wars <laughs> style opening here oh sure um, yeah pans to the left to see the circadian super starship under attack by the red planet Casso. So there would be missiles or lasers from the planet uh, to the ship, explosions and sparks coming from the ship. Now, Kevin, do you have a uh, an, an in here with your iPad that you can display, that I could pull you in to display uh, the planet or anything or um, some of the artwork? Um, my, my, yes, I'm not connected to my, my iMac right now, but I can like pick up my ipad you know what i mean okay um so you want to see you want to see castle you saying yeah if you want to just show real quick so matthew starts to get yeah, an so image is, a mental image of castle. what we're starting to discuss here yeah oh awesome yeah see that's pretty cool yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That's castle. red that's kind of how i'm you know i'm like hey red planet castle i red imagine it would be cool. you know red <laughs> but that's really good i like the starscapes and there's <laughs> the tone back the krypton a little bit he said tone back the krypton and it's wanted me to say okay what? 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 <laughs> that was Kevin. What just happened? <laughs> what just happened? I that was, was like, a quote from, <laughs> from when Kevin actually drew Casso. What? What? <laughs> Yo, man, I'm, I'm drawing. I'm drawing Casso and 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 Ant sitting at his seat like this. He said. He said. Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, what? Krypton. He said. He said it looks great. Just tone back the Krypton. I'm like, what? Tone back the Krypton. He, and he, he said it again like I was a dumbass. He said, yeah, tone back the Krypton. I was so in love with it. Just uh, tone back the Krypton a little bit. Krypton? 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 Tone back the Krypton a little bit. <laughs> That's what just a little this? taste how of do you make, How do you make these? Like, I don't even know how I would make these. These are so crazy. <laughs> Oh, do you put do you put gosh. these on vines or whatever? How can you live with yourself? <laughs> I should. <laughs> How do you have time to make them. these, Anthony? I don't even understand. I'm so confused. I, have so I don't really questions. go to sleep ever. Oh Lord, have mercy! Yeah. Oh wow. man, you have brought your friends. <laughs> That's funny. Tone back the tone back the tone 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 tone, tone, tone back the crypt tone cr 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 on tone tone. Max, Max Hedron. <laughs> yeah, that was a little bit oh, that like was, that, yeah, was that was Matt Frewer. Yeah, Max Hedron. <laughs> I remember that. that. It was a good. That was a good show. It was. It was a good show. Yeah, it was crazy. Oh, it was a good show. I am going to real quick just try to share my screen with you to show you uh, 
a image of the starship, which you, you may have seen in the in the thumbnail, but I don't really here. remember. But look, I mean, ultimately, yeah, I keep doing all this stuff. Is it's it's really when I look at all the components and then I like see the file names that you've given them for like the I'll be like, okay, I, I see. They said this is the circadian, this is this, this is that. Don't forget too that what I can do with some of the images is is flip them. I can um, you know rotate them. I can do all sorts of weird things. Sometimes if I need to, I can even give a false sense of um, like even if it's a flat picture, we can give a false sense of rotation. Does that make sense? What I'm trying to oh, say? Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, that's, that's cool. going to come into play yeah. next because you see well, that we have the. Uh, but within, I'll say this is within reason. Like for right, me, right? Well, I'm going to help you out with that because I drew the oh, cool. back of the ship. Um, oh, great. So I'll show you that right now. But this is like the side of the ship that, uh, like, let's say there would be an open an open space. Um, like, so the uh, the whole trailer starts off or at least the part that i'm describing starts off with open space right and then mm. you will pan one direction um you will see that planet that kevin showed you i don't have that in my file right here but mm -hmm. uh we will see um this ship come into view here and um this ship will be uh going toward the left you know i guess you'll be able to move it in in uh in independently of the background the way i'll give you the file like separately right yeah that's and possible i also drew like so at one point the ship gets hit so like the ship could be getting hit with missiles and stuff um however maybe you know me and kevin will draw a little image of missiles or maybe you have little explosion graphics that you can put on top and you then you know what i'm thinking i'm thinking as fast as it's going to go we can just we can just apply like like laser like just png laser yeah. lines that he can just like float in wherever he feels you know what i mean Definitely. Mm. What is that, what yeah, is that kind of okay the, i'll be honest too is projectiles um we'll put it to you this way <laughs> if you guys watch this srt7 that i made it's pretty janky. You got to understand that that all of it is very previs, so it's not professional looking at all. But I will say that if you want laser beams that just kind of, you know, whip across yeah. and just fire, like that hit actually, from the planet, maybe. Yeah, that's probably a little easier than doing any kind of more projectiles because I found that I'm really limited in making. I'm actually, it's it's strange. I wish I I love this program that I'm using, but I can't stand the jank way that they. Um, limited the way you can manipulate objects in it and i don't know what the hell their problem is with it but i mean i love the program and i just wish one day that that could be fixed but um anyway the point is um yeah there's a lot of ways there's another way too to, to uh, falsify panning across something is we start with the image and i can start uh, in the lower corner of the image and then pan and zoom across a flat image and right. that gives movement. So I've I've done that on occasions too. Yeah, um, I'm imagining you could do that here too as well. That'll work. 100 percent. Yeah, depending on the the graphic too and, and what size. And yeah, and I have all sorts of things that we can do to play around with. I have, panning I have an idea of like showing showing an image like this, like from the ground level of the planet. Right. Right. And then Copy it'll that. cut to the cut to the planet itself in space and show those laser beams coming just coming out. And yeah, then you know it, it can look like it's it it can look like it hits the camera itself and it'll just blast it with full color and then it can just cut oh, to, the, yeah. to the ship being hit. You know what I'm saying? This is this is a great that's idea. Like, that's actually, like, those like those are like quick. Those are quick and clean. I think edits. Yeah, it's easy to do as much as I can. Yeah. I'll, I mean, like I said too, all these things we can play around with and find out. Well, what looks better? What looks worse? What's you know okay yeah. here? And how about oh, I got an idea. Why don't we just have this? And it's like yeah, cool. Let's try it. Um, and that is Very part cool. of it. And I, I can even do strange, like, you know, the program does allow for effects, like to have it where like, if you need sort of like a warping effect, like if one point you need it where things shake, or if you need it where suddenly everything gets like, like uh, ripples, you know what I mean? Like a, a warping, you know, even effect, like if someone was teleporting away, we could make the whole thing do that weird wavy crap and um light brightening it like we can make a bright flash on this very beautiful great drawing too kevin your your artwork's fantastic i i need to have him draw dragons one day yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna i'm gonna steal him from albatross and be like nah, 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 nah. <laughs> um but uh yeah we can like, do we can, it <laughs> exactly we can make that flash really bright do it. um and then also here's another understanding is that if i don't get what i need out of certain images what we could do in certain cases is say, hey, can you colorize this image and do 
you know, three different versions just by going brighten the contrast and bring it out, then bring it out more, then bring it out more, then bring it out more. And I'll be like, perfect. Now we almost have an animated, again, assume air quotes, explosion of a planet, but you only used four or five frames to do it, but you didn't have to draw anymore. All we're doing is playing with HSL and contrast and so on. And I'm sure you guys know exactly what I mean by that, right? Yeah, totally. So that's what I mean. Like if we need to go there, then we will. And if not, I can manipulate the graphics too. Like if I find that I can't make an explosion or something happen, I might just drag one of my, one of your graphics into my program and say, okay, I'm going to make a second image of this that I'm going to use to, you know, have it do something crazy. Oh, there it is. That's what they wanted. And uh, I, I'm perfectly capable of that. Also uh, regarding the sound, like I said, most of that I could probably either design on my own or I might already have stuff like, you know, Anthony's ship probably alarms made. and stuff like that. And yeah. And, and Anthony's probably made you guys aware that do, you know, I, I made over God, how many sounds was that too, for the, the sound fonts that I made over 120 of them. They're about 66 sounds each. It's something like 8,000 sounds that I designed over the course of blah years. So <laughs> it's considerable. Yeah. Amount. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Yeah. And also those, remember, those are the end sounds. In other words, most sounds were comprised of four or five other sounds to make the one. So I don't think we're going to have a problem of me going back and saying, oh, I'm just going to use this sound from this sound font. They'll never know or whatever. Um, I already did that actually in my Diamond Dragons, uh, uh, some of those SRTs. There's, there's some sound effects in the videos that are actually from my sound fonts, but people would never know. <laughs> so... Okay, so we the next thing that um, happens is there's like dysfunction on the command deck of the circadian. So I don't know if you just saw what I had up, which was like the um, the start of what I was drawing for the command deck, which is just like kind of a viewport viewing the planet Casso, uh, and there will be people on the deck that are maybe on two layers. So there'll be a little bit of an animation that you'll be able to toggle where they're like trying to gain their footing as the ship is impacted by these laser blasts. So it'll be a quick like one to two seconds. Like the image I'm drawing right now of the command deck is very quick. And like, I think that's that's the only place it happens. So let's see, uh, dysfunction mm -hmm. on the command deck, shaking of image, a layer of movement of the figures applied to give the effect of motion, shipping yeah. under attack, alarms going off, perhaps the alarms start in scene number one here. So, you I know, maybe when Kevin's little storyboard thing ended that he spoke about earlier, like maybe you start to hear the alarms. Or, right. you know, like maybe when the sun disappears, you start to hear the alarms and then we kind of fade into these scenes here. Um, so then it, number three is a repeat of the image from scene number one. So that's the sir, uh, circadian uh, above the planet. Casso getting hit, like you said, with uh, some kind of layer or some kind of missiles, some kind of lasers that you toggle on and off there. Um, the ship begins to float away from the planet Casso. So taking that side view of the circadian maybe by manipulating it to look like it's just veering off a little bit hmm. and then the next scene will be like the next time you see the circadian will be the back view of it so if we can give the impression that it's kind of like veering off maybe there's smoke coming off of it whatever equates with smoke in space you know maybe it's like vapor shooting out of it where it got hit with the missiles or something um right. it's damaged that's the basic idea so maybe okay, it's glowing so, okay. that's point. what i was going to ask you if it was damaged in any way yeah and it starts to drift across to another planet now kevin can you hold up the image of anhinga which is another planet that uh, is nearby. It's like really close by. So it's like a, almost like moon distance. So it's like the ship just can float over there. Yeah, that's cool. That yeah. almost reminds me of something I see in Super Metroid. It almost looks like a Zebus. <laughs> mm. I don't know why that made me think nice. of that, but it's nice. awesome. Yeah, it looks awesome. Yeah, I like it. I support then, that. I support that. That's pretty cool. I know, pretty right? Cool. Yeah, Super Metroid dope game. But I mean, yeah, this, this sounds this sounds plausible, like being able to do some of these things. I don't know if you're going to get 100% out of me exactly what you guys need, but we'll find out. That's kind of the thing is my mind is clicking with this as I'm, you know, yeah. processing what and you I guys think, are saying. And I think, you know, your style, like whatever your style you bring to it, it's just going to make it unique, different from, you know, we're not, Kevin and I are kind of loose. Like we're not like, you know, hard ass like, 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 like oh, these ideas. 
See, and well, that's true. what I like, love about to look, this. Go ahead. This is what I love about this because of the uniqueness that everybody's bringing to the table. That's a good point. Know? Yeah. Yeah. And part of it is just trying to remember what the goal is to tell the story. Like, right. Is like, so we, you can tell the story in so many different ways. Like I, I always found that interesting about when I would talk about film and acting and theater and all that stuff with other people is that they'd be like, Oh, well this scene has to be directed this way. And I'd be like, what do you mean? They're like, Oh, well it can only play out like this. And I'm like, that's, that's not true. That's not true at all. And they're like, what are you talking about? I'm like, dude, haven't you ever seen a Shakespearean play done once? And then 10 years later, you see it done by a completely different director and crew. And it's completely different. Or like you know, the Leonardo DiCaprio version of Shakespeare, <laughs> whatever that one I'm was. Do you remember oh, that yeah, one? The Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. yeah. This is all I'm saying. It's just like, so it's like. Or the swords were guns, right? Yeah. And that's the point is like, that's what also, as people know, that's what West Side Story is basically Romeo and Juliet with knives and gangs. And that's it. Yeah. You know, because Ro yeah. Romeo and Juliet, that whole thing was, it was, it's gang warfare. That's all it was. It's just, it sounded cooler to call them, you know, Shakespeare. And, oh, those are the Capulets in the, in the uh, Montagues. And you're like, <laughs> yeah, right, whatever. They're both gangs and they don't like each other and they're murdering each other's family members. Sounds like gangs to me. And they're like, no, but it's, it's yeah. Shakespeare. It's sh and like Shakespeare wrote some jank stuff, dude. Sorry. You know what I mean? Like his, his, his characters were pretty, a lot of times they're, they, they're like all other humans, their base needs and everything. But so anyways, what I'm getting at is that it's about telling the story. So if we end up finding that we're like, Hey, why don't we just do this with it? Like, this is complicating this thing. And I'm like, Hey, I got it. Why don't you just show a big light, you know, on a frame and we'll have it go, you know, blink super bright red. And while that's going, and then you cut to a shot of one of your other characters going, you know, just having a, a one of those like, what the hell's going on, you know, and then shuffling of the feet and doing things like that's easy to do because you're telling yeah. the story. And it depends also on how much focus you want on that the ship is going down or if you're like the people on the ship are going down. And you're like, well, that's the thing, like, just so point. you understand, there is the way we step into this part of the tra of the trailer part of the story here where you see this ship and you see that this planet is firing upon them what right. is actually going on is we step into it past this but just so that you know is that there is a contingency of human beings from the circadian military who have landed on the red planet they're engaged in a land battle plus the Cassians are shooting at the ship that the humans came in. So that's where we're see that's what we're seeing right here. Um, that's also coming up here a little bit where uh, another flash, it's only going to be a second, but it says um, it's coming up as number five. This is number four. The red planet Casso by itself, uh, the same JPEG image from the first scene, but with small mm -hmm. explosions going off. Now, Kevin does have uh, some layers with little, little pops going off on the planet. Um, yeah. Kind of, yeah, like I can do that. Matthew, well, we can I can tell that you know about like the little nuclear animations that they've done because that's kind of what they look like right like when they sh when they show you all the uh spots where they tested nuclear weapons that that's that's kind of what what it looked like to me and kevin but um okay anyway um this lasts only two seconds or three uh image of the right. planet side war so this is uh, an image of kevin if you could pull the up the artwork you did last time and i'll make your screen bigger uh, you could toggle between a few layers to see figure movement or vehicle movement or smoke, like whatever Kevin's going to add here. Well, wait, what, are you, what are you saying with the, on on the the land like, view? Yeah, your planet side view of this yeah, yeah. war. That's I know about, Kevin's yeah. got something that he did last okay. stream. Copy that. Okay. Yeah, so, he, was, he was alluding to this yeah, earlier. Yeah. yeah, that looks cool. Oh, yeah. right? so that's I, I wasn't able to enlarge that, but now you can see there's these robotic or there's this machinery, this almost like Star Wars esque floating war bots, and they are firing. I, 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 see, I see these as just like huge buildings almost. Like there's mm. thousands. Well, they're floating as well. Yeah, they're, they're like. The ones on the right. right. Yeah. Huge. And they're firing upon the uh, ship, but also on the ground level, Kevin's going to draw some chaos, like whether yeah. it's some arms right. up in the air or some, right. some tanks or something. And maybe the tanks can shift left to right a little bit, or maybe they can pop off with some explosions. But right. uh, just really quick, again, this this will be two seconds. You know, maybe he'll he'll yeah. show the lasers going on and off. I understand. 
Yeah. So you'll so see where the lasers add, came is, from. Yeah, all this is relatively, you know, not not hard to do for the most part. There might be some tricky things or whatever, but it's like, yeah, as long as we're telling the story with this, that's all that really matters. Especially if um, you guys are essentially cr uh, creating this out of the previs kind of feel, right? Not like, hey, finished product, right? Right. I th I think I know what you're saying by that, and it's just it's kind of like this is a comic book, so we're just trying to kind of make some still images come to life a little bit for the trailer yeah, that's exactly all, you know yeah we're not we're not sitting here trying to say like look at the most professionally done animation ever no. disney is no, rivaled no, by no. matthew's jank program right it's like, like since not. your property is going to be an animation or some or some type of movie in the future you'll probably take more care with like making your trailers and stuff look like they're really fluid but for this oh, not it's, really. uh, wish, yeah. you know it's it's um kind of just like going to be like a little bit of a moving comic as a little treat for yeah. uh, people to get interested here yeah um, that's exactly well to be honest in a way that's the thing it's not dissimilar from the crazy previous things that i've been setting up the only difference is thanks to this guy who's on my team sanjay sanjay has been he's been giving me these great uh 3d environments built in unreal 3d so i don't know if you guys have even looked at any of those srts but you could see some of them start to pop up in the later portions of it because when i began doing the srt versions it was really bad like i i was having problems because i was using a piece of software that i couldn't deal with anyways but i kind of again the covid 19 thing forced my hand but once i found the other video editor uh it was it's better and anyways that's not the point the point is um for my dragon story it works perfectly to have like forests you know and then oh this goes into a river or over here there's canyons and here's a desert and here's a swamp for you guys it mean you know there's a lot more space going on so it's almost like um yeah i wonder i wonder if we can uh if you guys can ever locate someone who does like 3d environments but they focus on like space and stuff because i know that there's you know there's some program out there that uh is sort of like a universe sim simulator you guys ever heard of this kind of thing no nope. yeah you all should look it up and the reason i just know this is I, I there's this one sort of science dude's channel that i watch and he likes to use this program to help demonstrate when he's explaining something that's going on about the real planets and oh, so what cool. happens is i don't even know what the hell it is but you guys might look up like keywords be like universe simulator 3d program go to space you know or something like that and you can manipulate the program you can you know move around and you can zoom into the planets you can even create events like you can be like what would happen if a rock flew at like a thousand miles an hour and went right through earth now what happens and then it it, it uh, procedurally generates, okay, explosions would happen and this would occur and obliteration. And it's pretty, it's kind of cool. I don't know yeah, a sounds... damn thing about it other than watching it on this person's channel who's more of a science guy who, again, uses it to explain, okay, so here we have Earth and da da da. And what's happening is right now there's this meteor. And, and it's, again, some of this program is almost the real universe out there. So you can literally go to all the planets, I think. Uh -huh. Again, sounds, hashtag sounds like uh, one of the VR uh, VR uh, programs. I, I don't know if it's VR. VR. It may be, but the point is that you can literally just see it on screen as if you're in space, and then you can just move about whatever you want to do. And if you want to go to Earth, you just you know click on certain things, and it'll get you there. Or you can manipulate the camera, and you know what I mean. It's it's weird. It's like the universe is simulated to some extent, and you can kind of play around with where do you think. Uh, where do you want to go? Do you want to go to Sirius A or Sirius B? Or maybe you want to visit the, um, uh, I'm trying to think of some other stars. Names Saturn rings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's actually well, a lot here's of the thing. Here's the thing. That VR program that I'm talking about has something like what you were saying. You're actually in the cockpit of a ship. Uh, oh, that's great. So to speak. And, and, you know, you have your VR goggles and stuff. And you're literally like right there. And it names all the planets. How far they are, how far away they are. That's cool. As to e each different planet, and you mm. get up like real close, and it gives an explanation. It, uh, like yeah. in Saturn, it so gives an explanation of like the rings and what they're made of and everything. There like you go. That, that would so bug what me I'm out. getting at, yeah. Well, what I'm getting <laughs> I was like at for you, out there. <laughs> I know what I'm getting at too for Anthony and Kevin is you might be able to preordain some quick shots and then they'll look 3d because they are 3d if you mm. wanted that now that said 
Uh, and I think we all know what the elephant in the room is. If I say it this way, you'd be like, hey, that's going to get away from it being our art. And I'm like, exactly. So you probably mm. don't necessarily want too much of that. But if there is a possibility where you're like, ooh, I'd like to render this planet in 3D or do some kind of crazy shit and then just have a short shot of it, you might be like, oh, that's cool. Or mostly if you said, hey, let's all we need is a shot of a spaceship getting bombed in the middle of space. You know, you'd be like, <laughs> ooh, cool. You know, do you see what I'm getting at, Anthony and Kevin? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, so oh, yeah. it's just something to consider. And then the point is, if you guys give me that footage, I'll be like, oh, cool. It's already in 3D. The The spaceship is, you know, the camera is moving around this spaceship in 3D. And people will be like, oh, cool. That's a good two second shot. And you're like, whoa. And I won't, because I, I definitely cannot manipulate objects in this program in a more 3D manner, which is unfortunate. Right. That's a lot to ask anyway. Well, maybe. I mean, I'm sure there's some people out there that have, you know, probably $500 or more software that they, they're like, this is what we do, bro. We move around the, in, you know, the objects and 3D worlds. That's what I have to have someone do for the dragons at one point, but I don't know how we're going to do it. We're doing, you know, obviously the, the environment's in Unreal 3D, and then eventually we have to render the dragons, and then they'll be in that world. And then that means manipulating the camera around them will be a lot easier. Uh, instead of this crazy cardboard cutout stuff that I'm doing essentially <laughs> right now, <laughs> but that's okay. You know, I mean, but it still uh, looks cool. I mean, how you're manipulating or doing it, you know, it looks really great. I mean, you know, the colors just pop out and everything works real oh, well. Good. Well, thank you. Yeah. Cause I, I didn't, I didn't really know, you know, I got to put it all together and, and I was making it up as I went too, essentially with this dragons thing. Like, you know, I didn't, know if I was going to get it done. You know what I mean? Like where I was like, I was re reading the action of the screenplay. And then I was like, Oh God, that's right. I forgot. Now Titan has to do this. How the hell am I going to do that? And then sometimes <laughs> I'd express it more suggested. And other times it's just literal. Like I'm like, these two characters need to collide into each other. Boom, done. And other times I just, you know, we just show a big flash on the screen for something. You know, you're like, I don't know what else to show for that. So, yeah, it's not easy, man. Every every video edit is is painful, in my opinion. No, oh, yeah, I mean, if I showed you that JPEG of the uh, of the audio and video plot, like I was showing it to this other person, they're like, "My God, how do you do all that stuff?" I'm like, "I know, right? It takes fucking hours. It takes forever, uh, and yeah. uh, it it just it's it's crazy it, it, it's 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 amazing how much time goes into making a nine minute video that isn't even intended to be the the, the uh yeah, final product wow. yeah it takes forever it takes forever <laughs> but no this is great you keep going so right anthony you want to go on to spot five here or um, in, oh, he already showed me the planet side so right they're they're shooting they're shooting and then yeah the back, the circadian probably gets nailed right i'm assuming yeah, so well, you will just see like by the point where you see the back of the, of the circadian, uh, the ship had drifted out of range of those missiles, and it's cool. drifting toward um, like smoking or whatever to show that it's damaged. Maybe some electricity, little like zap, oh, yeah. you know, on on it yeah, or something. And sound will help too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally, yeah. and and like and then that and Hingo planet will come into view. Right. Mm -hmm. So maybe there'll be, um, you know, you have the option here to maybe if you flash back to the uh, interior, maybe there's alarms, you know, it's kind of open there. Number seven, uh, the image of the circadian with the parts floating off. So that's what I was thinking where um, I will put a little layer, especially on the, uh, the image of the back of the circadian. I'll mm -hmm. put a little layer where there's like some junk, some debris that has fallen oh, off the yeah. ship so that you could kind of as the ship drifts to the right let's say that junk can drift to the left to show the movement right. that, that yeah. might be kind of one way yeah. one and it could just be a couple possible. frames one one uh one request if possible because when you keep saying layers i gotta ask you so are these different pngs that you're going to send me that are everything's transparent behind them Does i mean we, we could either we could do that or we can um give you a PSD. I mean, it, whatever, whatever it would you prefer, be, we can make happen. I'll, I'll try my best with certain things, but in most cases, and again, this is mostly general. So don't like, don't think this to be specific, but in most cases, if you have any objects that you want to be manipulated separately, 
then just send them as separate PNG files. So for example, if you have like debris yeah. piece number one, debris piece number two, debris, because then I can manipulate all those debris. Okay, so, really? Or, okay. or if you're like, well, we want this debris is a collection of many parts, but we kind of want it to be all one floating mass that just goes all together. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah. Imagine you know, writing one. emails about debris. <laughs> oh, well, this, I mean, this piece of debris no, number happens. thirteen. No, I no it's true. That happens, Actually, though. That happens. Look, look. I'll, I'll put it to you guys. You guys, you guys want a little window into the truth? What a I mean, trash look. email, right? No, no, I've, I've um, yeah, I've, 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 I've had conversations about dust, bro. What about about dust 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 Matthew, dust. just delete that email. <laughs> yeah, yeah what, I, just delete. I, I, I had to provide foreground dust for a few for a few like side projects. Exactly. exactly. Serious. And then Kevin, when Four you go to sleep this night and you, and you have to wonder like what you did that day, you're like, I worked on dust. dust. I created <laughs> dust. <laughs> and it wasn't That's blurry funny. enough. It wasn't <laughs> blurry enough. <laughs> See, Kevin's, such a, Kevin's a good actor. I love it. I love it. I love it. But listen, but listen, wait, listen. No, this is important. This is important too. Think of it like this. because I wasn't like acting. Like <laughs> think of it like this because it will make it really clear in your heads. Like when I'm manipulating all these things, think of it like they're all like objects in a video game where you, if you have a goblet, it needs to be its own object. If you have a table, it needs to be its own object. In fact, sometimes the table is actually comprised of individual planks of wood, which were individual items that they then placed into this engine and then chain them all together to make the oh. well to make them a table whereas you can see the individual planks of wood laying around about the the countryside if you want just like a tree can be an individual object but of course there's thousands of them implemented all over some 3d world so basically the more individual files you give me the better within reason like you, you wouldn't want to say well here's the left arm of bob and here's the right arm of him and his head and unless you needed me to have it where his arm where he like lifts up his arm and grabs something. Cause then we could do that. If I have his arm, then I can take the arm and rotate it. I actually did that with uh, well, let's see here. So Ke uh, not Kevin, I'm sorry, Anthony, is there a way that you can bring up SRT seven and we can play it through so I can um, kind of walk you guys through something and I can tell you to pause it or, or is, or is that something that I can, I'll do be back like? in 10 seconds, guys. Okay. You bet, um, Mundo. You I bet. think I can. Um, let me or, see. Or do you want me to try to do it from here? Or, or, or if you know what, if you try. send me the link through the private chat, that would be awesome. And then I'll, and then I'll play it. Okay, cool. Cause <clears throat> is there something or, or is it something where I can help you by playing it on mine and then manipulate the video? And you might so, be able and, to do it and share the screen, but just if you do uh, make sure you click off that little check mark that says share audio so we could hear it as well. Had a grad, a couple more drinks. <laughs> well, let me see. Oh, it says share screen. Right. So let me, you know, and then like right underneath the that, that there's a little thing that says it, share audio. Okay. Wait, da -da 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 -da. I can, uh, screen sharing I I is easiest with two monitors. Screen sharing works best on a good computer. Thank you. What kind of note is that? Use Chrome. <laughs> if you'd like to share audio with your screen, don't show these tips share screen. Use Chrome. If you'd like to, okay. I don't want to share audio, so that's fine. Will you allow StreamYard to do some uh, Select window. Or I got it. Window. I got it here. I know how you're probably like Matthew. You're taking too long, but wait. <laughs> Share only Firefox. Allow. You're in the show. Diamond dragons. Oh, how nice. Oh, I see that. Should I pull in that? Well, let me just see if it's show. I don't know. I don't know what it's showing. It depends on what it was planning to show. Um, let me just mute. Is this that your video. Pornhub account? <laughs> right. I know. Probably. I'll be like, no. <laughs> Wait now, are you guys seeing anything? Then what are you seeing? Like, uh, I, I I'm able to see um, this. Whoops, what's that? I don't okay. know what that is. Uh, it's a uh, diamond dragons. It's something that you shared your screen. Are you seeing a whole bunch of images floating all over the damn place? And, yeah. Um, I don't know. I see that. I don't know what that trees is. and cascade. Like, are you seeing a video playing? No, I don't see a video playing. But I I, I do oh, have okay. uh, the link up on a on a link here if you want me okay. to play that. Yeah, so then I'll just go back out of the. I don't know how to do the unshare screen thing or okay. stop screen. Yeah, I'll just skip it. We'll figure yeah, that out another time. Four, I just see the four screens of you guys. So. Yeah, yeah I copy see that. that. Yeah, I'll figure it out another time. I'm not good at these, but go ahead. So, um, yeah, Anthony, do that. Queue up SRT seven, and then what I'm going to try to do is walk you through because it's not that okay, long. There you go. There yeah, you go. yeah. Go ahead and play it, and then um, it will. You can even kind of fast forward into it a little tiny bit, and we'll see if we can't get to a point where I'll show you what I did with this arm. The actually, unofficial rough. Pre yeah, you can, you can mute the audio. We don't need dragons. Written and developed by myself, Matthew Carrado. 
Check the links in the description for previous videos. Yeah, there you go. We don't need the audio. So yeah, let's see. So you see all this stuff. Okay, there you go. He's listening. They're in the trees. Uh, Bard plays his music. It unlocks the invisibility. Okay, fine. Forget about Titan. Yeah, just fast forward a little bit more. <laughs> oh yeah, see here, she, she's shooting them. something into the. Yeah, see, she shoots a Titan and hits him. There you go. Like there's some explosion and shit like that. He's looking around. Then Jackie comes across her, and she comes across him. Those are this PNGs is, right there. Those little images. Are yeah, PNGs. and, I, and I, I had to draw around a lot of them to make sure I would get transparency. But okay, here we go. This is where it'll be important. You'll see in a, in a few moments. Okay, yeah. So Cascadia was kicking Titan's ass. Okay, boom. In comes Jackie. Because right, I I did the uh, the overview. I always do a recap. Okay, so anyway, when is it so that? We're going to get to this little arm thing because you don't even see that this dragon has like arms. They're just, you know, they're, they're, their paws are on the ground or whatever. Their, their claws, their feet are on the ground. So then, yeah, don't worry about that. Uh, there we go. So then watch what we do here. Oh, I see. Is I have, oops, it's all paused up. There we go. She's talking to him. She's like, you belong with us. Come here, you. And then, what happened oh, here? then it goes blank. <laughs> like, what perfect timing there we go then see look at i have like that happening you know she's reaching out for him with her claw uh anyway so now you can pause it and we don't even need to see the rest but do you see what i mean is like so i i separately grabbed an arm with the claw you know what i mean and then i i can make it move up and down or um rotate it so like for example if you really needed a character of yours to reach onto a, 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 a control panel or do something like that. Um, we can at least manipulate body parts. But the only way to do that is if you're like, yeah, here's this character, Bob, but then also here's his left arm separate of the rest of his body so that you can, do you see what I'm getting at? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I know that was a hard, that was probably hard to explain, but the reason I did it is so that you guys are like, Oh, right. He's going to need a separate object of almost everything unless we don't care if he manipulates it separate of other things. Uh, and so, yeah, yeah like your debris, clear, yeah, your debris, it's best if, if like, for example, if you're like, well, Matthew, technically we have 10 pieces of debris, then you probably want to be like debris 01 PNG, debris 02 PNG, and then their transparency all around them so that those rocks or whatever, I could put them in at anything. Oh, and speaking of transparency, don't forget if you want like gaseous substances to be overlaid um, I can do that like a smoke screen can happen because all I'll do is take smoke and then bring back the transparency so or the opacity really, really. So you know what I mean? Like There's do you already things. have smoke or should we have a, a PNG of smoke? That you we could, well, here's the point. As the little, what's the video where the little girl goes, why not both? Um, basically, <laughs> it's like if you want to do that, great. But yeah, I mean, obviously I have like things like flames or smoke or whatever. And some of that is like you can just, you know, like when you're using something for two seconds, fair use definitely comes into play, especially if you're not focusing on it being like, look at this amazing smoke effect that I designed, even though I didn't, you know, that's, <laughs> it's not a big Just deal. Just a little especially, part of the <laughs> whole thing, right? Yeah. Nobody's going to care. And and actually the point is, it's like, Hey, we're not selling this as a, as a product anyways. It's not meant to be a final product. Um, overall though, it's true. Yeah. In retro, not in retrospect, but the, the point would be one day to say, Hey, all of the assets belong 100% to Diamond Dragons or 100% to Albatross, 100% to Star Wars or whatever. That's kind of important, but that's only for later on anyways. But but yeah, for doing this kind of thing, we can do all sorts of fun stuff with it. And, um, you know, you can feel free that if you're like, hey, yeah, I'd like it if this sort of, the, the ship sort of, you know, it it, uh, it fades in here. Like it, it comes in from being transparent. It was invisible and then suddenly it appears or, you know, there's cool ways to do that. Um you know, and that works same with explosions too. In, in in some regard, if we make them partially transparent or do different really cool things with it, you know. Nice, and that, like you know, basically the end of the trailer would be, um, you know, that planet and Hinga that Kevin showed you. That that second mm -hmm. planet was kind of like a tan color. Will kind of just come into view, and will be will get larger so that will indicate like the circadian is going toward getting it. closer. Yeah. Yeah. And then that's kind of the end of it, the end of the trailer. Well, and then there'll be maybe some narration perfect. over it, a little bit of narration. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm still yeah, I'm I, still a little nervous, man, going in this this direction because if if I'm a if I'm a a comic book collector and I see this trailer and I'm all about it and then I get the comic and I don't see any of this, I'm gonna be like, what the fuck did they show? What me do you mean any of this? <laughs> I have a whole a whole series of pages here where they're flying into space as like an astronaut scene. Yeah, yeah, but but it's not it's not that war or nothing like that. It's like not the red planet, not not in Hinga, not Castle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, actually, Kevin's right because if you're if you're seeing something like that, then you know you're gonna expect to see that in the comic book. It's and we we see it eventually, but way down the line, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Well, well that, and then, I, I mean, I'd say I mean I'm not trying to interject here, but it's like it's true that there is something to be said about what like teasers and trailers. They don't um, in the movie world, teasers and well, trailers are not your movie. They are something to sell people on your the movie. Idea. Oh, yeah. that is true. That's true. That so true. I would say that it's like I don't want to say anything's fair game. I mean, one thing's for sure is like you wouldn't want to be like the character Alexander meets da 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 and Christine, and then later in the in the right. in the your work, there's absolutely no mention of Alexander. It's just or Christine at all. <laughs> yeah, you'd be like, wait, what? Yeah, that's yeah. weird. But I mean, here's the thing: if you're if you're selling, hey, there's space battles. There's a ship on fire. They've floated to the not the wrong planet, but not the one they intended or whatever. Um, and then later it happens in your comic. They're going to be like, oh, dude, this is where this yeah, is where yeah. they showed us like yeah. the, the true fans. But I don't know. I mean, if your comic book's exciting, your comic book's exciting. You know? Yeah. Although that's true. Like I knows? believe it's going to be. I believe it's going to be because yeah. the, I mean. From what from what we've been talking about, you know, for quite a while and what I've seen, what's come about and what the guys have, you know, said within the storyline, uh, it, it's a, it's a unique storyline. It's it's unique characters. Um, it's not the same old space shoot 'em up kind of story, you know, but it is it is a shoot 'em up story. But at the same time, it's kind of unique because these characters are are striving for, you know for life and there's there's something to be said you know in survival mode here you know yeah. everybody for themselves but you still have unique characters in survival mode that like hey yeah we get we we're on a mission here but but you know we've got this to do and that to do but everybody else is like yeah, yeah, yeah. you are who you are <laughs> i got you I'm sure it'll be cool. I actually, I'm looking forward to the day when Anthony and or Kevin, they send me, you know, send me a few pages. That way, I'll, at the very least, I could read some of them, give some help if you want, like on, you know, wording. If I'm like, you know what, you don't need to say this or you could cut that out or you could do this or you could. I'll, I'll just I'll try. It would only be in the spirit of helping. But for the most part, I probably will read it and just enjoy it. You know, just like yeah, I, I sent you guys some versions yeah. of the screenplay. Yeah, because I know Anthony had a good time. Uh, uh, reading as nitrozite. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of fun. That sounded fun as hell. Yeah, yeah, I bet he did pretty good too. Yeah, I mean, Mundo, you know, you're, you're, you're. Oh, which reminds me, I forgot. I'm dumb. This is how my mind works sometimes. This coming Friday, um, the 26th, I am doing that. I think didn't I already invite you in an email, Anthony? Yeah, you sent me uh, the Zoom link for this. Yeah, so that one's because I'm actually not the Zoom host because I, I don't even I. I can't afford, you know, that because <laughs> it's money per month. Yeah. Also, you know, pro not pro tip, but I mean, war word of warning, Zoom is Chinese owned. And I don't know if I want to say that that's a necessarily a bad thing, but it makes me worried when it's like not about the Chinese people. Obviously, the Chinese people are awesome, but yeah. um, the uh, corporations, in some cases, it might be dubious. like having your stuff kind of like yeah. having your sometimes yeah. and also i had heard the tiktok there's some serious dubious stuff behind i mean you're, the, you're letting them in your home you know what i mean yeah it's part. weird yeah and, yeah, and all i'm saying is yeah because i don't want to offend anybody if they ever see this video or whatever that's not what i mean it's just that it, under the concerns of you know i, I always hate that too the corruption that, that's out there in the world or whatever so i'm, I'm kind of concerned well, i mean you can't trust any hardly anything on on line today i mean it's, I it's tough because here's the thing i mean i just got hacked or something the other day well oh no like last yeah. month you know i uh i bought some products and you know come to find out somebody actually got my information and what the? Uh, yeah was yeah able I mean, to take was able to take some money out of my bank account because they got they got my debit card info for 
Lord knows how they did it, but it happened to my wife last week. Two two of her credit cards got hacked. Dude, are you serious? We got all this hacking going on. Oh my god. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think it's not, a, and it's wild because you know how they had that um that like they hacked like like singular or some something. I don't know what the hell they hacked like a cell phone something or other, and like right all the cell phones are wigging out because they're adding that COVID BS to it. See, and I think that's maybe what happened, and maybe they hacked a lot of people getting hacked. Yeah, there's a lot of people getting hacked. Wait, Kev, what happened? They added a what? They're adding that they're adding some BS like COVID app that that's gonna supposedly let you know when you've been in contact with stuff. Okay, the contact tracer. I heard it. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. So like they're letting like Mm. phones talk to phones now. Like, oh, like 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 say I went to the hospital and I had COVID and I'm not telling you guys and we're like at lunch right now. Like your phone Mm. will be like, yo, 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 do you know like Kev who just came from the hospital last week? You know what I'm saying? But like that's just that's well, and much. also it's probably yeah. a danger too because actually that's an invasion of privacy yeah, yeah, and yeah. medical yeah. records. It's so crazy. I don't know yeah, if that crazy. flies anyways because yeah, actually med- no, but it's um, already on some phones already. It's wild. Well, that's oh, I didn't know they were forcing like, it on the phones, well, Kev. You, that's news to me. I thought it was like you, know, you had to yeah. like, want it. I didn't know. I don't even know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> what just what was that? I don't understand. Just the devil making his way into your phone through the COVID app. Oh, because I couldn't I couldn't hear what they were saying. You guys know these clips too well, but they're not like reading. I'm like, hey, what? I'm not here. Yeah, Anthony's I'm not a master of them already. <laughs> Anthony's a master of them already. I'm upset that Kevin can't hear him. Yeah, I can't hear him for some reason. It's weird. They're, they're oh, like yeah. all they're all basically for for Kevin to hear. <laughs> Did you make all these yourself, Anthony, or do you find yeah, these selective the hearing? Well, I just finally Kevin's got selective hearing. Just, like, oh, like definitely. This one here. <laughs> no, 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 my favorite, my favorite is the bird fat, bird fat. <laughs> I got this new one, Kev. I really want you to hear this, but you can't. But oh, you're okay. like, I'll, I'll, I'll show Matthew and Mundo this. <laughs> I'm gonna buy that for you guys for Christmas. Everyone's gonna get two of them. You guys can Appreciate double fist those. Appreciate it. <laughs> I have only one word for that. Jank. <laughs> this is our that's hey, no, our no, competition put, on on there, on uh, Indiegogo. There you go, uh, Anthony. Put that in your little uh, mix up things. Jank, 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 jank. Like how could that work, right? Lose it, lose it, kick it, burn fat, burn fat. There you go. Hey, there you go. Part of the Albatross uh, Junction little clip right there. <laughs> you guys should just release that for your teaser. Actually, and those would work good in Albatross because if they like produce. Or something. <laughs> no, that could be what they. Oh, well, you know what? That's kind of. It's not a good idea, but it, it could be one of your characters likes watching those kinds of things, and he's always showing them to all their their friends, and they're like, "Man, y- y'all need to get a life, son." <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and that's it. And then they walk away from it. And he's like, "What?" Oh. It, it's and it, it's just it's a real easy fix. You know it's an easy fucking fix. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he talking like a chipmunk? You know it's a real easy Bet fix. Yeah. He's really, yeah. really yeah. easy. Yeah. Can't wait for it. Do you have any? Do you have any characters who need to talk like this in in your in your in your albatross? So then we could just do a character like that, you know. It could sound like this. It just depends on what you need. Probably someone outside the gates that talks like that. Someone like that doesn't not allowed in Mundo's bar. That's not allowed right. in We don't want you to shall that. not pass. <laughs> yes. They don't let people like that in uh in I'm so not here to rob you. I'm here to fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's actually it's funny. You say, cause they did, uh, I can't believe you said someone that. Did a great, that. No, it's because no, someone no. did a great edit. Yeah, listen, this, someone did a great edit where they just bleeped out words in certain film scenes. And oh, of course, it works perfectly. Funny, so there's funny. even one where, you know, uh, Gandalf is there on the wagon in the very beginning, right? And he's just like, so uh, what have you been up to, Gandalf? Have you been doing this and this and that? And he's like, a wizard never reveals, you know, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, all right, then. <laughs> then, it, then it goes, keep your secrets, you know. <laughs> so 
sounds like he's saying fuck your secrets and you're like <laughs> because of, it's just all right keep your secrets right but then he's like all right then keep your secrets and you're like <laughs> so if you do that with a lot of films it's actually really funny right yeah, oh my funny. god yeah i'm trying to remember some of the other ones you'd have to look it up and just be like when you bleep i don't know what the keywords would be to find oh, this, this thing kind of like you, uh jimmy like when jimmy does it with uh what is it the censorship thing something like that yeah. yeah like when you when you censor the wrong words out of something it's funnier because uh -huh. then you think they're swearing but then they're not <laughs> right? yeah, so you're yeah, like yeah. So, just like that one where you know he's all right then your secrets <laughs> you're like what <laughs> <laughs> or the whole like I am Bilbo Baggins. I you know do not take me for some conjurer of cheap tricks. I am not here to rob you. I'm here to beat you. And you're like <laughs> I just heard uh, I just heard Bilbo died. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, dude, dude. I'm That's so sad hurt. because did I ever tell you guys that that I played Bilbo Baggins in a, a full length stage performance of The Hobbit? No full length stage performance. How really? long was it, bro? So you know that well, story I mean, forward. It and wasn't back. you know, That's it wasn't cool. like a short yeah, it wasn't like a short, you know, thing. Like this was a full production and in front of audiences. We we did it uh in some cases for schools, we we uh invited these schools to bring all the children and so we could do these matinee uh things for them. It was really it was really crazy. It was a lot of fun. It was in I think it was in the year two thousand or two thousand one. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it was nope. two thousand. So um well, you could totally yeah. pull it off. So, yeah, it was a, it was it was a fun role. Although it's funny, most of the cast did not. I could tell, and it, like, they just didn't know Lord of the Rings, um, <laughs> because they didn't understand why. They're like, "Why do you keep playing that role so angry in some of these places, Matthew?" And I was like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> They're like, "You have these moments where you get like suddenly really angry for no reason, you know, and the way that you're playing it. Why? What are you doing? Like, I don't understand." And I was like. You are aware of what the ring is doing to Bilbo, are you not? You know, and they're like, "What are you talking about?" They did, so I could tell they didn't know. They only knew the play because they were cast. You know, there was a bunch of teenager kids. You know, and yeah, and yeah. I was I was a younger man at that point. You know, it was twenty years ago. But I mean, uh, I was like, "You do know what the ring represents, don't you?" And they're like, "Yeah, it's supposed to be evil, but it's also invisibility." And da da da. I'm like, "Yeah, but um." So, like, what do you guys think the ring represents? All, all the hatred in the world that it was, you know. I think it's, it's even it's, more. It's, well, you you know, the evil is the bottom, you, well, is the given part of it, mm -hmm. you know. But then, you know, as, as time goes on, all that hatred and, and war and all that bad Jojo mojo that's going on within everywhere all the all the different factions you know the earth the mm -hmm. elves and everything it all builds together and all that hate just consumes you and that's you know, exactly what happened is that ring gave bilbo you, you know it gave him a purpose in life you know to destroy the thing but at the same time all that love and and everything that he really stood for changed him because of that ring yeah yeah i took I it, it represents depression and anxiety and greed and all the different things that yeah. are the the crippling nature of not only mental illnesses that some people can have but then mm -hmm. the kinds that you can um put on yourself where like you know when you have a business you don't want to lose your business right so you got to be mean to people and you got to do this thing you got to fire people you got to do this and hey don't take my money that's my money get away from me don't touch that that's mine yeah, yeah. all those things add up over time but one thing's for certain is if you like um it's like people would need to read a little bit about J.R.R. tolkien is he had a few demons you know, like mm -hmm. there were some there were some issues that I think he was literally embodying in the ring. And I mm -hmm. think uh, Peter Jackson definitely got it right, because it's like when you look at the way that like one of the lines that, you know, Bilbo even says, he says, I feel tired, Gandalf. I feel like butter spread over uh, 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 too little butter spread over too much bread. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he feels or I'm sorry, he didn't say tired. He says, I feel thin. And you're like, ooh. Mm -hmm. That's an ugly sentence to say to someone if they're like, how are you feeling today? And you're like, I feel thin. Like, I feel like, I feel like I'm not enough. I'm done. Like, I am done, done. And I know that feeling 
unfortunately, quite a bit, <laughs> especially lately. Yeah. And so it was really sad to see this guy pass. Also, boy, was he brilliant in Fifth Element. He's so much fun to watch in Fifth Element. He was good in Fifth Element. He was good in Fifth Element. I mean, oh, he was, he was, good. He he was, was good in Alien, man. He was good in Alien. He was a man. Yeah. I know, right? Scary. Yeah. Scary robot. <laughs> he was sick, man. He was sick. I, loved, I never I saw like it. the white, milky stuff come out of a robot. That was that was crazy. That was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was right, like, yeah. Jack the Ripper, man. And then yeah. from hell, whatever the hell that movie. Yeah, so, didn't they make oh, an homage to the? Uh, he was really good. He was just good all around. Yeah, Gary. I think they made an homage to that character's name, and I forgot what it was. B uh, a, a bishop. It was a uh, bishop. Uh, bishop. But I mean, uh, there is another thing where they. Um, no, no. Bishop wasn't it? Was in the in the, uh, the the one the alien after that. His original name in Alien was um it wasn't Bishop though. It was fuck. I can't remember. What his yeah, name that's was. what I'm trying to remember. Like what the other one was. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I can't I'm remember. Not, I'm not gonna remember. It's okay, but yeah, because right, Bishop was played by Lance Hendrickson. H Hendrickson. 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 That's Lance yeah. Hendrickson. That was a man. Yeah, yeah, but I know the I know the one you mean. I was just trying to remember, but anyway, that's fine. Yeah, it was really sad that he passed away, but anyway. It's wild. So, and I like the way this is looking a lot, man. I didn't know what you were doing at first, but this is this is on the ship looking out. Yeah, and it's just going to be like I'll add another layer right here and I'll put some light like those luminescent lights on on a controls here and then I'll put some people that are like shaking or can't stand there maybe some people in seats there like ensigns, so, you know, like ensigns see, a, controlling shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, see that's a good example of where like if you gave me the individual components, yeah, I'll be, I'll I can be also don't forget I can also scale them. Like if you give me the individual components I can scale them, I can rotate them. Um, if they're at the right aspect ratio and they match your photo, that's great. But I mean, if you want them to individually move, then they need to be individual files. Is the best. right? Like what I'll do is um, I'll turn off. Like I'll send what you were asking for earlier, which is like the PNGs by turning off um, a layer, off layers making or... a PNG, turning it back. You know what I mean? Like making another PNG and that type of thing. And for yeah, this, I was thinking like. Time. Yeah, because like, how cool would it be if like you have that planet file, which is like in the background here, and mm -hmm. then you'll have like the ship file, and maybe you could start to rotate like the yeah, deck of the ship. It's to show, funny you mentioned. See, you know, okay, wait, like I'm not to, not to cut you off, but like what I'm looking at right here, if mm -hmm. the planet wasn't there and that was just transparency, do you see what I'm getting at? Mm -hmm. Then what I can do is put the planet in the background. Then place this one in the foreground, the, your frame. Like, think of it like that's exactly how they did the Star Wars stuff, too, right? They just had a frame of the ship, but mm -hmm. then they just show, um, sh uh, showed shots of, like, ice. Like, in, in Empire Strikes Back, when they're floating around the, uh, the ice, they were just getting, you know, helicopter shots and shit like that of, you know, making passes near ice and all that kind of stuff. And then later they added in all the other things, like the Imperial walkers and the, uh, you know, the explosions and all that. But it was just a frame. So, like, in other words, what I'm seeing right now with your ship, I would cut out all the other stuff that's in there and give me a transparency of, and I know you can't see my finger, but you probably know what I mean. Give me a transparency of your window, mm -hmm. and then I can put anything we want in the back of the window. That can be looking at this planet. That can be looking at a spaceship. It could be looking at an alien going, let me in, let me in. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it will be more powerful to do that. Oh, that's cool. I could see little lights are being drawn on there. That's another yeah. thing. Like with the lighting panels, that's another thing is, again, if you individually give me <coughs> some kind of thing where you're like, I need this light panel to go bloop and like show that something is going on, then what we want would or what we need is an individual panel with a bunch of transparency blank spaces, which later we could put, this is light one, light two, light three, light four, whatever. So um, there's a lot of cool things that we can do, but it's better when things are individually addressable for the most part. And it's true that we don't want to go overboard because then you might be like, okay, Matthew, I'm here's, uh, it turns out there's about 2000 images. I'd be like, holy mother <laughs> of God, like what the hell, bro? Like we don't need to go that far. But one thing's for sure is we can do a lot with um, when you separate out things. Like again, if you want chairs in here and dudes sitting there and it's shaking them, 
I you will want those to be separate, like person. You know, you might Marine One in chair JPEG or not JPEG. Uh, they have to be PNGs to be transparent. But whatever, they mm -hmm. don't even. It doesn't actually matter the file format as long as it is transparent, but I know JPEGs don't handle uh, transparency. So those are usually no good unless you're like, this is a JPEG because the entire thing is a picture and a background and we don't want it transparent. I'd be like, that's fine. But most of the time, if the object is, uh, uh, you know, has nothing behind it, like we don't want a square background with, you know, the character, we want to have the character there and then... Um, it's, uh, um, oh God. Yeah. Look at, I forgot how bruised my hand is. Look at that. I didn't well, see what that. happened there. Yeah. That's a, <laughs> exactly. But I mean, um, <laughs> it's, it's just, uh, um, um, you know, it's so, it's so much easier. We can manipulate so many more components and also the shifting of it. Like I, I even like the way that you're drawing on it. It's at an angle. Well, I can do that too. We can actually take that object and have it go like this, Anthony, you know? Yeah. It'll, it'll be able to shake. But um, then the individuals within there, I can make them shake too, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. And that's, and that's what I'm going to do. I'll give you <clears throat> exactly what you said. You know, the different, the people will be in a different layer and maybe in like two poses, you know, like, yeah, uh, on like awkward stance and then almost falling. And then, right. uh, and then, you know, this window could be clear so that you maybe the way you show the ship turning and twisting is to show the, is the way the body is going planet. Yeah. That, and, that too, yeah, you know, yeah. Basically and and we'll all that is, is I'll be able to, I'll be able to have the, pa the, the planet parallax one way while the ship itself is, is listing left or whatever. Yeah. That's, it's mm. not too hard for me to achieve some of these results, even with what we would like to, you know, I have to be honest, what we're, we're, we're doing this in a very rudimentary form because again, I don't have, the biggest skill set in the world but this is totally possible this is totally possible to do these things you know? cool yeah i try to keep like my my wants and stuff to uh, a reasonable level and i think kevin did too when he was designing what what he wanted to see it's uh well you know and again the irony is like if we can get something sometimes you might be surprised at how simple something can be but achieve like a pretty damn cool result where you'll be like, yeah. Oh, like again, this one shot from SRT seven, I was particularly proud of because what I did with the shot was I, <laughs> I pulled off that, the, uh, what do they call it? The vertigo effect <laughs> with some of the footage that Sanjay had, because he had a footage of the camera was essentially moving forward. So then what I did is start zoomed in and pulled back. Right. So I created the vertigo effect and I had Cascadia's claw reaching out for Jackie. Yeah. You know what I mean? And here's the thing. It was pretty simple. It was really three components and just me using the pan and zoom options to just take the frame and move it in and out. And it looks pretty freaking cool because she's basically like, no, don't go anywhere, young one. You belong with us. And then suddenly she reaches out. So it looks pretty cool, even though this isn't the intentions of how I maybe even wanted to see the shot in the end actual product it's still a cool effect because it shows story and it, it explains what's going on that, you know, when you see an arm reaching across frame, you know, and you're like, Whoa. And then the next shot is of Jackie going, you know, get away from me kind of thing, you know? Um, so that's, that's the kind of thing we can, we can have some fun with it. But yeah, even Anthony, you should consider, like I can see you're putting in all these lights and everything. Mm -hmm. You should consider if are, are all your lights individually uh, placed as a layer uh they are on their you, own layer yeah yeah because see then what you could do uh, or what we could even do is like i can do, you could do stuff with color yeah like where something could be like oh i want it to sort of fade in and out so the lights go mm, okay yeah like i'm thinking you know with the alarm we could have some like i want to show some kind of red accents going off here so maybe there's some red bars at the top that flash with the alarms and then maybe also mm -hmm. some of the buttons could be glowing red at the at those moments too and keep in mind this whole scene of this uh situation inside the cabin 
of this super starship is just like 2.5 seconds in the realm of the trailer. So keep in mind, keep in mind too, is I might, I'm not a lot trying to can say, happen I'll in two seconds liberty. though. You know? Oh yes. But I will also say this is too, I might attempt to take a few liberties. If while I'm sitting there traversing this thing, I might say, you know what, I'm going to pitch it like this to Anthony because he might like this. Like, for example, did you consider that before the alarms, really just go off like you could show a big shot of this console that you're building right now as we speak all these lights mm -hmm. and it could be almost completely zoomed into it and the whole thing is just going bring, bring, bring. so like three flashes three alarm sounds and then you'd cut out to this and then the trembling so like you see, see the, that sounds the, good because yeah, the people will, the people will immediately anybody who's watching even if you had it on mute you would know immediately. You'd be like, well, that doesn't look good. Anytime uh, in space films they show a giant, huge amount of flashing lights going haywire, it's obviously never a good sign. You know? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, and that's just part of space films too. They always have a hundred thousand buttons and switches, which is funny too, right? Here we are in 2020 and we still use a, a keyboard and a touch screen. You know, that's it. We don't have like jank million lights all over the place where someone's like, what's that for? What's that do? What's that for? Just well, looks I do. cool. You know, I well, do. I know that. I was about to say, I'm like, I know you do, but. <laughs> Which button is it is? Yeah. Which exactly. button, damn it. Which button? <laughs> yeah. Reminds me of it. What was it? The Emperor's New Groove or whatever. She's like, pull the lever. Wrong lever. <laughs> it's a funny line. Pull the lever. Roll the lever. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe it's this one. Oh, a cartoon, shit. right? Shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. So, and I'm I'm not working on anything right now. Is this something I should be working on? Like, I feel crazy. Yeah, I mean, can you fill in any of the gaps here on this trailer stuff, like the stuff that you came up with to I kick off find, the trailer? Um, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Like maybe easy. just create something quick that uh, represents one of those, like the sun, for instance. Like you, you're, you were great at drawing the planets. Draw us a sun that's just going to be vanquished, you know, in the next scene. <laughs> <game>, so <laughs> it's, it's going to be a second, right? You're only you're going to probably spend forty five minutes drawing a sun, and then it'll just be vanquished <laughs> in one second. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now I'm, I'm, it's going to be quick. It's going to be quick. Yeah, you may not even have to come to think of it too, because I have an environment where Sanjay has the sun in the background. So if you really needed, let me think, to have the sun there. Oh, but it's not in space. It's not so, in space. I'm about to hook it up right now. Oh, okay, cool, cool. There you go. Yeah, um, Matthew, the other thing I thought of while you were kind of talking about the trailer stuff was that I'm not opposed to doing it this way too, which is what I've been doing a lot of times when I make my videos is like with Insta with the advent of Instagram and a lot of these places that want shorter videos is like, let's oh, say right. your trailer ends up being 41 seconds. So you, you've completed it and it's 41 seconds. You're like, it's fantastic, but I've got an idea for a 12 second trailer based on this shit here. So you just like cut down a lot of the stuff and now you've got like a, a 13 second trailer based on that longer trailer you know what i mean oh, sure. um that's always fun oh, yeah. to do too you know because because once you've yeah. done all the work like once i've edited down my video and i've got it down to whatever it is seven minutes i might post it to youtube but then there might be something okay i want 30 seconds to put on instagram so i'll go in and kind of just get a little bit of that yeah and i'm sure everybody works in different ways with those things and i, I totally agree like also man sometimes i hate being bound by like time things but i i totally understand like yeah it's a thing to have to have that concern on the mind and be like, well, can you know, can I tell this story this way? Or you, sometimes you just make a completely different trailer where you're like, you know, yeah. like even the one that I made so far, the, the very first trailer that I made um, for Diamond Dragons, um, I was super limited, but it was funny. My one of my dragons, Rainya, a.k.a. Callie Rawson. Shout out to Callie. She's awesome. Um, <laughs> awesome Rawson. No, she is. She's dope as hell. No, it's um, just, just funny that you hear you shouted her out as if she's like at home on watching YouTube and shit. Well, I do tell I, I do tell her about these things, and you know it's funny. She does a lot of her own podcasts, so one of these days. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. This, 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 I thought yeah. you. I thought this was the name of one of your dragons. 
It is. No, it's, in the, a it's way. the person who plays the dragon. Oh, 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 I didn't hear that part. I thought I thought you were shouting out one of your characters. That's why I started laughing. To a <laughs> to a point to a point, I am because the character's name is Rainya, but uh, Callie Rawson is the actress. Who oh, voices nice. Her. Nice. Callie Rawson but, is an amazing name. It doesn't sound like a real person. You I know. know. Well, there you go. She would probably love that if if, if I said, "Hey, my, that is my, dope. my buddies, that is dope. My buddies in, in Albatross are making a character with your name in it. How are you? Are you cool with it to do? Actually, she's pretty dope. She's a model. Um, she, she, wow. won Miss, she won some kind of Miss Universe pageant thing. Jesus. I'm not really oh, sure. Cool. Like, well, no, I, I might be getting that wrong. I'll have to look it up and, and remind myself. But yeah, she has her her um, channels and all that stuff. I can always try to send you guys. Some nope. Yeah, yeah. Give it a give. Give the plug. Yeah, seriously. But um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, that. So she was like, Matthew, could you, you know, because we were discussing stuff and she's like, Matthew, you got to make some kind of trailer for D Diamond Dragons. That way more people will find out about it. I'm like, I know, Callie, I just don't have enough uh, artwork and things and stuff. She's like, well, you know, see what if you can work with what you already have. Right. And I'm like, well, that's a good point. I'll, I'll think about it, you know. And at that point, I literally only had three images that would have made any sense for me to put into any kind of trailer or not trailer a teaser and so i was like i only have these three images from claudia what am i going to do claudia bezak is my artist and she's wonderful she works on video games too so she's Dope. she's pretty busy that's cool yeah she's talented you guys are, i mean at this point you guys have probably seen that like the dragon's castle and then anyway so i was like oh these three images i bet i can tell the story of like you know death was a thing you know the dragons went into hiding but then hope came and they were restored. That's all I could really do in that trailer or a teaser. I keep calling it a trailer and I shouldn't do that. Um, so this teaser is, is perfect, but I only used technically three images for it. And they're all still images too. Now at this point, fast forward here into the future. Now I have Sanjay's like 3d, you know, artwork where we can move through a forest and, you know, into this Canyon and okay. And he's made a volcano and things. So I was like, Oh, this is great. You know, but I mean, uh, uh, it has been trouble, you know what I mean? Trying to come up with uh, things when you don't have enough content. Like, look at you guys. You guys just draw and you guys, you guys, God, you guys already have so many images. You could easily, easily be releasing some of these things in small little bursts. So I think even doing it as a video in some ways is a smart idea, especially if eventually you might even get to a point where not only you have a physical comic book, but then I was even suggesting to Anthony, even though he's like, well, you know, I would always want to have something in my hot little hand. If you released your whole story one day as sort of a visual audio experience. Mm -hmm. Now, if someone were to say, oh, well, I don't want to do it because it's a comic book. I'm, like, I'm not saying don't release a comic book, a physical one. I'm saying is you might do that in addition to and either make it free if you found a way to where you're like, well, do we think that people will even buy the comic book if we do that? I don't know. And then you'd have to think about it or yeah, make it where it's only unlockable. If people send you, you know, $20 or I don't know, something, whatever. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. You never know. And I that's, like stuff like that is like bonuses too, you know, like yeah. you said, you know, maybe they're well, at like a certain I tier and they, and they get uh, unlock that. Yeah, and understand yeah. this too is like let's make no bones about it. And I'm not even trying to undercut your guys' work, but you'll know what I mean when I say this is clearly to do a video with audio in terms of the vocal actors who will be doing the characters, the narrator, you know what I mean? The video itself and manipulating the objects within it, the music and the sound effects is a lot more work than simply drawing it and being able to write the things and all that stuff. I'm not, again, I'm not undercutting. Oh, I'm not saying Anthony and Kevin don't do any damn work. I'm simply saying is you guys are doing these components, but they're absent of, you know, audio and music. And I think, eventually like one they frame. Can. I think eventually they can, because I, I believe they could totally pull it off. That's and, and it would be very, it would be very um, popular. I, yeah, and I mean, it's also dope that way because, like, then at the very least, yeah, your characters literally have voices, and if we get enough vocal team on board, um, or sometimes, you know, it's like, uh, make no bones about it, like, I wanted a f almost a full vocal cast for Diamond Dragons because I just, mm. I was like, hey, the more people involved, the better. It wasn't mm -hmm. like I was sitting there saying to myself, oh, I couldn't possibly voice all the characters to a certain extent. It's like, yeah, of course I could voice probably eight to ten of the characters myself. 
But why would I want to do that when I could get people who are awesome, bring them aboard and do it? And certainly I wouldn't voice the female characters. Exactly. exactly. You know what I mean? So it's like, oh, man, you know, like it's it's totally cool to have my vocal team. And and I'm sure they'd uh, they'd love to maybe come aboard one day, especially if like I can tell you this. I'm sure they would be overjoyed if one day both of us said, hey, we have enough money. We got bankrolled. Something happened. The GoFundMe's funded us. The investors invested. The angel donors donated. Uh, <laughs> things happen. How does it sound if we all send you all one thousand dollars and come do this, that, and the other? I would love that. You know, uh, that's what my goal is with Diamond Dragons. I, I don't really care. I mean, I, of I, course, I care about I the story. I believe it'll happen. I believe well, it'll happen. We'll see, Mundo. But the problem is simple is that, yeah, I have to get funded. And, and I understand. So do these guys. So does Kevin and Anthony. Like, it will yeah. help if one day they're like, what just happened? And you'll be like, yo, we, we have $50,000. Like, we have no excuse now for us not to make this. Like, we can do this now. You know what I mean? And, like, even for Diamond Dragons, I don't actually think it would cost that much. Some people keep trying to say, oh, it sounds, you know, the big movie guys are always like, oh, it sounds like your, your project's going to cost $20 million. I'm like, it's not going to cost $20 million no. to make this. But um, it will be expensive. It's it's certainly not going to be $10,000, <laughs> you know, <laughs> unfortunately, you know. But that would be awesome, you know. I could do a lot with 10000 But, um uh, it's over nine thousand. <laughs> but nine thousand, you know, all, there's all no you way guys, it could be right. All you guys are certainly so talented that well, you know, you. in in my mind, you know, and in, in my opinion, you know, in I believe it can happen. And and you, Matt, you say we'll see. Uh, I'm on the positivity part of it, man. I mean, hmm. just, just from what I see, I and, and I know you're you're being a realist and everything. Well, and no, I, I should send you. I you should know. send you at least a portion of the screenplay if you want to read up until. Well, I mean, I don't know. I could I could probably send you the whole thing. It wouldn't matter. I'm trying not to send the whole thing to too many people out there because not because I'm like, oh, I, I, people are going to steal it. I'm kind of just like, I don't want them to be. It's like. Oh, the story's ruined. I, I oh man, now I know it, and it's so awesome. And of course, I'll go watch it. But it's like, darn it, I would love to have experienced it, you know. Whereas um, that's kind of one of the ironies too of this whole kind of stuff. Like a lot of the people will say, Matthew, you need to write this as a book first. And I'm like, I, I get what you're saying, but it's kind of like, for example, when Star Wars came out, most people didn't know what it was. You know, yeah. I don't think the book was out until after Star Wars was released. You know. And now with Lord of the Rings, <clears throat> there's there's no way, you know, Tolkien wrote that in the yeah. 30s or 40s or something like that. Well, so obviously, is. obviously it was out there already. So people already knew the story, but they wanted to see it. But I was like, yeah. how exciting is that, though, when you're sort of like, I wonder what this is going to be like. Like, it's fun. You know, like I, I I'm very I don't want to say I'm counter to the idea of when people keep saying you should write a book, you should write a book. I'm like. Isn't it exciting when you actually can see a movie where you have no idea how it's going to end because you don't know? Whereas even with The Matrix, The Matrix was comics first. I didn't I didn't know about that, but The Matrix was comics. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and even uh, what's it? Uh, uh, these I'm trying to think of some other examples that I was like, oh the, yeah, those were before they were movies. They were uh, uh, Harry Potter. Yeah. They were books, you know what I mean. So, but I like your I, I like your idea of going with the with the video or movie first instead of the book. Too. I mean, I agree with that because actually, and I think you may be the first person to do that before that. You know, I don't know if uh, I would be the first person, but the point would be like, is that. Like, but it's, you're pretty it's, close it's to choice. it because I don't see it. I have not seen any movies that have come out without a book first. This is all I'm saying. And that's what's happening is it's funny how the industry or people in the industry, they're like, you know, Matthew, you and your idea, that's great and all, but no one's ever going to bankroll you and da, 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 da. And I said, okay, that, why is that? And they're like, they're going to want it as a book first. And I'm like, I know, I don't yeah, care if, I don't care if other opinion. people want it as a book first because it's not their business. Exactly. The business is, do you want to, do you want to make a lot of money? <laughs> and simultaneously tell a story that's going to punch people in the face really hard. And then at the end, they're going to be like, holy cow, I didn't know it was going to be like this. Like I knew it was dragons and stuff. Yeah. And I knew there'd be fighting and I knew there'd be like dark side and light side. But 
I didn't know it was going to be like this. And I'm like, yep, we went a little dances with wolves on y'all. <laughs> and you, you know what's pretty funny is because I have a couple of dragon shirts, right? And, oh, cool. And, and and so when people compliment me on my dragon shirts, I said, well, you like dragons. So it's, you know, I love dragons. But if, tell you what, if you like dragons that much, go to Magic Corrado's. Oh, thanks, website, man. Diamond Dragons. I tell you, man, and I don't know if they've gone to your website yet or not, but I mm -hmm. definitely will will always mention you and Diamond, Diamond Dragons, you know. Oh, thanks, man. So as it is, you know, it's uh, funny with the, the website. I almost I, I almost regret now that we have well, not a website, but like I am the YouTube channel is the only thing that really is, you know, we're like, I don't even edit the website. I have to get back to it and try to do something. I'm, I've been terrible with that kind of thing. I wish I knew anybody who did web design. I at one point had one of my cast members trying to work on it, but um, he's been unable to continue, you know, on that uh, mm -hmm. factor. It's kind of a thing. But um, yeah, like I appreciate it, Mundo. Any, any shout out is like when we get more people seeing these YouTube videos that I made, it will help them start to see just even the it's such a sliver into the window of it, too, because if people look at only that and they judge the whole product, they wouldn't know. But I mean, God, so much happens in this story. It's crazy. And there's there's some surprises in there, too. The kinds, too, that like, you know, like I'll, I'll put it this way is like, you know, not all of the characters survive. You know, it's it's that plain and simple. Yeah. Now, the question is, which ones do you think are going to make it? And maybe you might have to be like, uh oh, you see, he's not going to George R. R. Martin on us, is he? And it's like, well, <laughs> maybe, maybe not, you know, but it's all in the in the, in the storytelling, too. Like, I, that, I don't kill I don't kill characters so randomly. I never kill char characters randomly. It's always a purpose for all of them. There's a reason for every single word, every single action, every single um, exchange. It's and important. I think that's what makes that that's what makes storytelling so great because for every you know action, you have a reaction to something. Yeah, and, and sometimes so, there's a, what we call at least for in filmmaking, and I keep saying we as if it's like ooh, but it's just it's a storytelling thing. Anthony and Kevin know this too. It's like I call them setups and payoffs. And it always reminds me of like, I always call it like screenplay writing or screenwriting or storytelling is like a joke. <laughs> and I don't mean like it's a joke, yeah. like it's it's yeah, like, it's oh, this is a freaking joke. I mean that it's like a joke because what does every joke have? It has a setup and then mm. the punchline, aka the payoff. Yeah. So for example, and I was telling this to this girl who I've been working with on this um uh this 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 one uh, that you joined mundo uh, the, the remember Lindsay? yes 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 yeah yeah we're still having those things it's just it's just been crazy but yeah i gotta i gotta i gotta add you to that group if you're on facebook and are you on facebook I don't even yeah know. i'm on facebook it's under okay, cool. mundo cabrera the third yeah i gotta have to try to get that wired up to see if are we friends maybe we're not that would be stupid i should figure that out anyway <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll we'll get it we'll get it taken care of for yeah, sure. But I'll but I'll just tell you through real quick this thing is that so like I was telling Lindsay this thing about doing a good setup and a payoff, and I just gave an example of one where I'm like you do something at the beginning of the film, and then pay it off at the end, and yeah. you make the audience completely forget about it. I usually make Kevin pay first. Powerful. <laughs> oh matt i do want to tell you thank you for the invitation on that zoom meeting because oh yeah it was I, I really did enjoy it you know uh i i learned a lot from a lot of different people there and i do apologize that i couldn't get my picture you know my video going oh it was of no but, concern like i said because it's a writer's thing it wasn't like hey we have to show all these visuals it's like nobody cares well, the point is can yeah, people hear and can people then, uh uh speak you know? But it was a lot of fun just hearing everybody from their from their creative differences to their concerns to what was going on because you know me as as a, a comic book fan as a a movie fan and mm -hmm. so forth, you know, uh, being in that kind of element it, it just puts it into a different perspective because oh yeah when For you sure. when when you get to when you get to that. Um, yeah, I just found you on Facebook. Here. I I iteration as far as, you know, getting kind of sort of like behind the scenes type stuff, you know, it, it makes it even more interesting because you kind of see how things come about in the story 
how right. that per, how how the people are feeling when they're making that storyline, what's coming from that person's life, what's coming exactly. from their from whether it's coming from love, whether it's coming from hate, whether it's coming from jealousy, whether it's coming from some different emotion, that's what takes precedence within the storyline and that's what makes it so great yeah no i totally agree is that a lot of times that's what happens with certain writers i mean or a lot of writers is you'll bring a certain level of your personal uh experiences to it and other times you're just writing characters like they're archetypes and you're like well this character is going to be you know the uh the wild cowboy the guy who he only does stuff by his own rules and he listens to no one and no one blah 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 and then you have another character where you're like this character is the one who's the rule follower they do everything by the book and they try to make sure that everybody stays in line they're the police one you know whatever and then this character is the you know the the slickster the one who's always trying to get a little ahead and you know what yeah. i mean i'm all i'm talking about are, are, are character archetypes it doesn't mean that they have to be followed in a very traditional super linear sense but mm -hmm. like you know anthony and kevin are probably completely aware of this it's like you know when they make their villain they have to decide you know do i want this villain to be the mustache twirling side where they're evil to be evil mm -hmm. and all they're there is to be a meddler like in a way like skeletor you know skeletor yeah. in the he-man com cartoons he, he just needed to be that he wanted power and he wanted to you know make he-man lose there's no real purpose to that like no one can say why is skeletor so obsessed with killing mm -hmm. he-man and getting what's the point whereas um other characters can be very complicated like when they decided hey let's make thanos for the yeah. infinity war and now everybody was saying well he's a pretty cool villain because he has some altruism in his thought process no matter how broken that thought process is yeah. you know um, so ha hashtag fair, like, cause some people might even say, Hey, what about Hitler? You know, some, someone might say there could be an argument towards saying, let's make it where Hitler and his cadre and the people around him, they're like, you're doing the right thing and you know it. And we're here to support you all the way. You're right. We need to be going to all white people a hundred percent. Right. And the people around him are, if they were saying, yes, this is correct. You'd see how broken that thinking is. But from their perspective, they're like, we're doing the right thing. You know, that's yeah. something else to talk about when you talk about villain characters. Villain characters always think they're doing the right thing and that the people who are oppressing them, those are the ones doing the wrong one. It's funny. And then, you know, another aspect that I, I really loved was that uh, when they were talking about having the storyline built around the character, mm. but then but then you have the story built in before the character. And yeah, the, it varies. And, yeah. and so that's what made it so interesting is that you have different aspects mm -hmm. of a storyline either built in or before the character comes in. 100%. And, so that, that's, and that, that's what makes it so cool. Yeah, 100 percent. Like, for example, and this is another thing that I can talk about. And who knows, maybe Anthony and Kevin will get something out of it, too. There's a wonderful book. It's not that long to read either. It's very short. And uh, it was one that I ran across in college because of my teachers saying, you know, you, you all have to take these books and try this and try that. And uh, they recommended a book by someone named David Ball, and it's called Backwards and Forwards, uh, or Backwards to Forwards. I don't remember which, but anyways, Backwards and Forwards, Backward to Forwards, David Ball. It's great because what it was telling people to do is start at the end and work backwards and that's not only in terms of trying to analyze, well, how does this character unfold? Because it was mostly towards acting and directing and theatrical kind of scripts, but also super applies to writing. Because if you have, what is the very end of your story? Like what happens at the end that sums it all up? Then you go, well, what had to happen right before that? You're like, well, obviously this needed to occur. Well, in order for that to occur, what happened before that you work your way backwards and then no matter what you're going to have a direct line to the beginning of your story no matter mm -hmm. what whereas on other writers they'll do the opposite they'll start writing and then they'll find themselves veering off to planet zebus or whatever it is that this is happening to that ship you know they veer off towards the wrong planet or whatever in kevin and anthony's story or you veer too far to the this side and then suddenly we get on a tangent with these characters i've seen that already with writers um some in that group too, they'll be like, yeah, I just keep writing. And then I find like, I don't know where I'm going. And then suddenly this, and it's too long. And, da -da -da. and I'm like, <laughs> where are your characters going? 
are they driving the story and the actual plot or are all these subplots just getting regenerated? Then this happens in a new subplot, a new subplot. And that's a, a bad way most of the time to write a story because then you convolute, well, what's the overarching uh, thing that the whole, every scene is driving towards? So that's like when you take Star Wars, every scene is driving it towards Luke is going to face uh, the Death Star, not necessarily Vader, but he's going to face the Death Star every single scene gets him closer and closer to that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and that's because probably yeah. when, when George Lucas was writing Star Wars, you know, he knew what the ending was going to be. He's probably like, well, I, I imagine you know, Luke Skywalker has to blow up the Death Star. You know? So that's <laughs> probably how he started and then wrote his hero's journey around it. You know, uh, mm -hmm. that's kind of how I did it. I knew at the end of my story what I wanted uh, Jackie to do. Uh, and what was going to happen a certain moment not the whole ending not the exact absolute every little detail but i knew at the end i'm like there's going to be this there's going to be that this happens and then that's how this person's defeating this you know what mm -hmm. i mean like without ruining the story um and then i was like well shit i guess i got to write this thing now you know it's really <laughs> it was really weird it's it's hard to even explain when i even started writing it like i don't remember when i started doing it to a very I have all my notes and files. I can go back and look at them. But I mean, I barely remember now, like, how did I turn these characters, which they started off as names, and then they kind of all blossomed into their their archetypes a lot better as the days went on. It was pretty cool. You know, it was a lot of fun to experience, too. Nice, nice. Yeah, Yo, I, I just, um, I got my son images ready. Oh, nice. Okay, I'll. Uh, I just wanted to show real quick that this uh, Albatross Junction Volume One Indiegogo is up for uh, pre-launch. So anybody that wants to just drop your email, you are eligible for one of four free posters that we're going <clears> to <throat> do just for the people who sign up for the pre-launch. So there's going to be four uh, unique posters, and you'll get one of those uh, for Ooh. signing up early. And uh, this is going to run through to, I think, like 60 days before, uh, what would that be like? In August, the campaign should launch, could be like 60 days before October. Um, so uh, then it'll actually transition from this page here. If you just search Albatross Junction in Indiegogo or look at the link or uh, you can click on the link that should be underneath in the description after this video uh, gets gets posted to our channel because right now I don't think the link is there but it, w it will be there uh, for the recorded for the recorded viewers so just wanted to show that Kevin do you yeah. have a way to display your screen or are you gonna hold it up I hold it up I just gotta okay. hold it up. so it's like so the regular boom you know, the there you go there you go Sun Sun awesome. got the Sun Sun and then the way I'm seeing great animation right is um overlay that Ooh. Yeah, can wow, do dude, also yeah. I can make that. I can make dude, it grow, and I can probably awesome. make it where it it gets bigger. And yeah, there's there's ways yeah. to mess with it. And then and then dude, you, that's uh, awesome. And you put that. Cool. Wow. Yeah. Dude, and this, this, that. Sweet, it's supposed, sweet. It's supposed to be like accurate of how it's like how they really think it's gonna look. You know what I mean? When a star explodes, that that's that's what's left over. That's dude, cool. That's like cool. I'm down. Yeah. I'm down. We can like, we can do we, we can do a lot of things where as their individual images, like I said, I can play with all sorts of different interesting ways to make it you know, nice. get all the uh, explodey and um we can even play with the transparency. Yes, Chiong, Chiong. As the <laughs> dragons say. Yeah, that's how they say the dragons say thank you with that. They say Chiong. Chiong. Wait, 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 wait. Chiong. Did you make that up or is that based on some some language? It's yes and yes Chinese. to those questions yeah or, or actually what they would say is z that's how they say yes z is that chinese it's sort of a little bit it's it's a hint toward yeah see look at this like so those individual dudes and dudettes oh so see that, that that's cool oh that's so we, could, we could see we could shake the whole thing but why when we could say hey we can make it where the background will not because it's transparent and why when we can have the individual bodies shaking a little differently independent yeah. of the frame it'll look cool and it's true it's only going to last two to three seconds yeah. but so what i, I can do it 
<laughs> it's not going to cool. be that hard, yeah. Yeah, it's cool. yeah cause like I'll as make long another as, again as long as they're individual. Yeah, they have to be individually addressable. But if they're not, then I can't. Like in other words, let's say you had drawn this as one flat image. Well, then they're all going to shake together, and we can't right. do any, as much magic. So more magic can happen with the more individually addressable components. Almost like if you treated them like they're all objects. They're all objects in a video game. Uh, right. So like you could have like, you know, this, um, you know, variation. And then like, let's say there's like alarms kind of going. Yep. Like we could probably play know, with and, that. Yeah. And there's even like different buttons that might go on and off and. Yeah. Whatever that type of thing. Yeah. And then I'll make different positions for these people too. Yeah. I might even be able to, you know what I have to, what I may have to do, especially, and that actually would be easier. You know, I, I might be able to make myself a video of your two f uh, frames of the light situation. Because then what I could do is if I have video of that transparency, then it will, the lights will continue to blink throughout the whole frames as video i might i don't know we'll see i'll have to play mm. around with some goofy ideas in my my janky brain and see what i come up with but i mean <laughs> I'll, I'll try to figure it out and if not the point is like at a certain point you'll be like jesus what's the return on investment like if i'm you know like i've i've obsessed sometimes over something where i'm like oh my god what am i doing this is only going to show for one second and i spent like seven <laughs> hours on it and you're like okay enough like hashtag enough like i got it we got it. Yeah, like it's sometimes fun. it's nice to make a, a highlight or two, like something about something that you spend a lot of time on, and then other parts of it are more so, you know, what you could exactly. do in the moment and yeah, make it happen. Then, make some highlights, true. but every yeah, every cause... every second can't be a highlight. Just like every every hit can't be a home run, you know. Exactly, and also, and it's like, should it be too? Because like it depends on if someone's saying, "Hey, if you were being paid ten thousand dollars a minute of footage." You'd be like, yo, I got to have the best tools and I got to work hard. But <laughs> you're like, if I'm just saying, hey, you know, we're trying to create this so that they can raise money and do these things, then you're like, we don't have all the time in the world and, and uh, to sit there and obsess over a, a freaking light, you know, or something like that. You'd just be like, dude, just just get it done. Get it done. You know what I mean? Right. That's yeah. What I mean. <laughs> cool. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Like whatever uh, images and, and however you're going to want to arrange them. Like you might even, you might even want to put little folders within a zip file that you're going to do and be like, this is, you know, secondary assets. These are tertiary assets and these are the primaries or whatever. And just name them the way you need it. Like planet, this planet, that, um, man oh one man oh two something something so mm -hmm. that i'm like oh, okay and then i can individually address all those like when i'm reading your copy I that's a good idea them. like maybe like a folder f per um sequence on that list that i had so it's like for, for like kevin's thing he could be like sun and it could be like the sun plus the explosion plus the ring of fire you know and right that because way you have that yeah, then I'll know. And then it's true that if I'm like, oh, oh, I need to use some more of these assets. I'm like, which one was that in? Oh, yeah, man one was over here. And I'll just drag that guy into the equation. Oops, that's right. It's been getting dark. So I'm going to turn on my uh, my uh, light here. I'll be right back. Oh, and before I forget, man, uh, while you were showing that Indiegogo thing, one of my greatest friends, I call a brother, man, Pat McNulty, he just signed up on Indiegogo for you. Oh, awesome. Hell, Pat. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, dude. Big, so thank big, you, Pat. And, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get him to uh, check out Diamond Dragons for Matt too. So. Awesome. Yeah, I wanted to just say uh, to um, for Matthew, you know, take a couple seconds or a minute here to uh, tell people where they can, because we're gonna kind of wrap up the show. Just to you know where they need to subscribe to on YouTube to see more Diamond Dragon stuff and things like that, oh, yeah. and where they can go to. What I can do is then send you the link to that. So, um, so Diamond Dragons on YouTube is pretty easy to find. I mean, the website is, I, I wouldn't really point a lot of people to the website for now because the website really doesn't have anything super big to offer. Um, but for now, I have a Facebook page, which is, let's see if I can even, can I discover my own Facebook page's name? Let's find out. Um... The Facebook page is just diamond.dragons. And let's see. Diamond Dragon's Tale. Let's find out. I'm clicking on my own to find out. Yeah, it's diamond.dragons.tail. As in not 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 a tail of, you know, like a cat's tail, but tail like T-A-L-E. 
So that's one way. Uh, the other way is the YouTube channel, which you'll just have to look by the link because it, I, I don't have enough, you know, whatever subscribers to give it an individually addressable thing. Right. I posted the link uh, in the comments if anyone uh, needs to turn on the live comments to see that link. Otherwise, yeah. just type in Diamond Dragons uh, under uh, YouTube and uh, exactly. check out that new channel and subscribe over there. Um, also, subscribe over here to Comic Book Creation Live. We are doing uh, this whole series, Albatross Junction right here live for everyone to see from the very very beginning issue number one we're smack in the middle of working on issue number one we are uh, going on to issue number two very very soon and uh, kevin is going to be penciling issue number two i'm penciling issue number one having a great time doing it um kevin you got anything to say i never do sir you kept pretty much wrapping <laughs> up fully <laughs> mundo how about you Guys, come join the fun, Albatross Junction. Join me at El Mundo's for a drink. Uh, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Thanks so much, Mundo. Yeah, Mundo, uh, we love him so much. We put him in our book. If anyone has ideas about Albatross Junction, feel free to leave it in the comments. Um, if you join us every Wednesday on a new Comic Book Day live show where we are working on, uh, you know, just pages from Albatross. Like I said, I'm working on the pencils. Kevin's usually coloring and stuff at this stage or inking uh, some of the penciled pages. And uh, pretty soon he will be on to his own penciled pages while I, uh, I'm i still trying to finish the uh text on or the uh, writing on the second issue so uh, while i get that done he's helping you know color and ink and do all do all that heavy lifting on the first issue and come join us you know leave a comment and tell us what your idea is and if it's a good idea me and kevin will talk about it and actually incorporate it into a future issue because we're definitely open to uh you know little details here and there that just make things seem uh, a lot more real or make th things seem cooler or make you know things seem like uh you know, it's not just from the mind of uh, me or from the mind of Kevin, but other people could have their say in what happens. So, yeah, so I think that's about it. Uh, I got to go because um, I still didn't eat dinner yet or anything like that. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, it's like midnight that, here. So. Well, just uh, <laughs> you and me both in. <laughs> well, it's I actually a, have a, like a little salad in the fridge that if I don't eat it today, Kevin, it'll probably will not, like, not be that good it'll tomorrow. Probably, so. Shoot, survive, I got a yeah. Texas... I got a Texas size steak, man. Ooh, nice. Oh, nice. Most days I am eating my hey, actual dinner. The wife, like the wife anyway. loves me, man. What can I say? <laughs> hey, that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, you guys are all really, yeah, it's, it's always a pleasure. It really helps uh, boost my spirits because I have not been in great positions for the last three to four months. I'm still in bad places. So I, I really appreciate these things. It's, it's good to be a part of them because, uh, you know, I really look forward to them. And I, uh, it's not just because you are all my friends, but it's also because, like, you know, we all have this great art work that the yeah. world could use to uh, enjoy and uh, uh, experience. And I think that's a good thing. And I'm also, I'm looking forward to helping you guys with this uh, video edit if I can. Yeah, I, I hope, it, I hope it. it'll work out. Yeah, no, I mean, it'll be, it'll be good. It's my, my pleasure. And also it's a good trade, you know, like maybe, you know, I get people saying, hey, we're telling them about Diamond Dragons. I'm telling people left and right about Albatross. Yeah. Pretty much anytime I see them, I tell my cast about it. And, um, uh, I, with any luck, you know what I mean? One day we'll be on a different video and we'll be like, remember those days where we did those videos and we didn't have any, we had no backing, like n no one was watching and no one was, was donating and no one, we had no investors and nobody, isn't that funny how those days are in the past? <laughs> Hey, hey, and just for you guys, man, anytime you guys, you know, feeling down, whatever, hit me up a text, you know, Straight I up. text you back, you know, you feeling down or something, hit me up, man. Mundo, Guys, Mundo's the greatest. Thanks I'm so always, much, Mundo. You're awesome. You know, I'll so, I'll be around for you guys. You know, Mundo's gonna, like gonna like Gargigal too. Mundo's gonna like Gargigal. That's like basically <laughs> yeah, he's our brew. He's he's our brewmeister. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, uh, Kevin and I so appreciate you guys for doing all that you do and uh, spreading yeah, the yeah. word about Albatross and especially for uh, working on mm -hmm. this stuff, Matthew and uh, Mundo's always here supportive. Thank you so much for that. That really really means a lot. And uh, you know we. Uh, appreciate it hell of a lot so well i appreciate being on here man i mean you guys are the best dude you know, so before we uh it's always so much fun hanging with you guys <laughs> thank you so much Good yeah time. and um matthew you know uh 
you know, we'll uh, send you this artwork probably not tomorrow, but hopefully within a couple of days, you will see uh, That's uh, fine. this folders come through and, you know, can get, get started. And then there'll be some, some stuff that you'll maybe ask for, like, uh, you know, we need an image of this, we need an image of that, we'd be happy to, you know, it kick might. something up. You see how kind of fast we can throw something oh, together yeah. so <laughs> oh, i have full full trust in, in kevin and you i mean I, I can't draw worth a damn so for me i think i've probably said this on the cast many times too but it's nothing short of sorcery and wizardry from from my perspective but that also is in perspective because it's like well i know that sometimes in the past people would be like dude i watched all you doing your flips and stuff when you were younger how the hell did you do i'm like right it, it looks like sorcery or when i'm crafting this diamond dragon story they're like i could never write man i i'm not a writer i'm all you don't have to be like that's why everybody does different things bro like some people design t-shirts some people are carpenters yeah, some people are actors and some people are many of all those things but that's part of the, part of the best thing about i think putting artists together is eventually you end up with this sort of cadre where you're like, yo, we have a producer now, we have a director, we have someone on costuming. Well, in this case, it doesn't really matter for all of us, but you kind of get my point. I'm all those things right now. I do the costumes, I do the right. directing, right, Kev? <laughs> you gotta do it all when you're drawing the picture. <laughs> yeah, you all know what I'm talking about. So like when you eventually have that kind of cadre and you're like, hey, let me just think, and you like think of it like you're looking through your to-do list and you're like, I think we have everybody that we need doing all the skill sets that we need. This is the package is now that train is just going to keep moving. Cause I feel like for us right now, the marketing train hasn't even left the building. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, and I kind of no, hear that because I'm pretty sure, I mean, it's, I think it's going to happen because like I said, the unique stories are all the way around and Matt, like you said, you know, it hasn't left the station yet. But Wait till you coming. read it, it's, Mundo, because I'll coming. send it. It's coming. It's coming. You'll trip coming. out. And and see, this is what I like about Mundo is he doesn't even <laughs> he doesn't even know all the Diamond Dragon story, and neither do you guys too. But then if he's this excited about it, Mundo, when you read some of it, you're gonna trip out. You're gonna be like, "What? I didn't know it was gonna happen like this. I had no idea." Uh, and I think Anthony's gonna render that too, because well, Anthony is. Uh, have you read any further than what you already know from the screen? read through that we did yeah yeah i read through the oh, okay. whole thing like two times yeah oh so yeah you but know i like, don't know if know. there's stuff beyond that storyline you know that the storyline i read ends in an almost like a a little bit of a cliffhanger to where i know there's another part of the story coming up so oh there's definitely more to come trust me like it's <laughs> it's it's i'll put it to you there I'll, I'll put it to you like this it's not over yet <laughs> <laughs> and with that I, I will actually play the uh, albatross teaser trailer that we currently have and this is just yeah. a very very simple it. thing um uh -huh. and that's why we hope to get a lot more of the story ideas across when uh matthew completes the uh, trailer that we've been doing the artwork for during this show and the previous show but um i'll play the trailer and then that'll be our outro so thanks again guys and uh we'll talk to you really really Peace. soon